Oh no, my webcam froze! Why? Why? You know what? Whatever. Let's... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, deactivate that. And then activate again. Now do you work? No. No, webcam says no. Please. I have I have been troubleshooting everything <laughs> for the last hour. Okay, you know what? We don't we don't get we don't get a face cam today. Uh and if I pulled this up, it's probably not gonna work either because you know, that needs my webcam, huh? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um Actually, maybe it will work. Hold on. Let me try and see if I can get my v VTuber shit up. <laughs> oh, you get to see that. That's cool and fun. Um. Nope. <laughs> Wrong thing. There we go. Oh, oh, webcam's back. Oh, webcam is back. Okay. <laughs> And now, and now my capture, now my capture's not working. Okay, great. I love this. I love this for me a lot. Um, we're just not, I guess we'll just not have a face cam when we move over to the video game. I don't know why everything <laughs> is breaking today. Uh, and I hate it. I just want, I just want to stream this game. That's all I want. Uh, and everything is saying no, apparently. So let me... Uh... <laughs> let me get rid of this. Let's just, let's just say no more webcam. How about that? Uh, and then we'll move... Over here. And it stopped working. So that's lovely. And cool and fine and fun. Yep, close that, please. I'm gonna scream is the thing about this situation we're finding ourselves in. Fucking hate this. Uh, also, don't know why my mic is as loud as it is. Is that better? No, no, that's not. We'll, we'll turn us down this way then? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um... Literally, anything and everything that could go wrong is going wrong right now, and I've been, like I said, I've been troubleshooting, um, everything for the last hour. <laughs> Just trying to get it to work, because I really want to play this. Are we working now? Yeah, we're gonna be too loud, so... There we go. Like I said, we just won't... We just won't face cam today. That's fine. Um, <laughs> hi, do you like all my stupid Switch games? Uh, I have actually been playing Dredge. I picked that up earlier this month. It's pretty good. <laughs> that's, that's all we'll say about that. Um, hey, so I found out that, uh, Deathmark 2? I have played Donut County! It's good. It's a good game. Donut County good. Um, what, what, what do I have here? Got lots of Katamari. We got some Darkest Dungeon. We got that silly little fruit game that everyone has been into. Uh, I got Dwarf Romantic on here. I would, I would recommend it on PC rather than Switch. The controls are a little weird. But, uh, it's Deathmark 2. And that's exciting. I'm gonna turn me down a little bit more, because... OBS keeps saying I'm peeking, and I don't think that's correct, but, uh, I'll trust it. We like Donut County, because it's basically just reverse Katamari, right? <laughs> no, Donut County, very good. Um, but yeah, we got Death Mart, and I'm excited to play it, and I don't know. I don't know, man. I just want... I just want my fucking game to work. I just want all of my technology to work. 
everything got mad at me because nothing was updated. And so I went to update everything, and then it got mad that it was updated. And now, I think specifically, my webcam and my capture card are, like, fighting each other. Because when I get... <laughs> When I get the capture card to function, the webcam goes to shit. And then when I get the webcam to function, the capture card goes to shit. And I'm just, I don't know what's happening. And I would just contact Elgato directly and be like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, but it's it's past their business hours. <laughs> um, and of course, it, it, it passed their business hours as soon as I was done trying to do all the things that I was doing, being like, how the fuck do I fix this? Um... So I have to wait until later. Will I do it tomorrow? Probably not, because I'm a busy person. I don't know. I'm just bitching about... <laughs> just bitching about technology now. I was just like, look, I wanted to play... I was going to play some more Cult of the Lamb, because I didn't get to do anything this last week, because I felt like garbage. And then the start of this week, I had like 10 million doctor's appointments to go to. And, like, they've all been good. They've all gone well. Everything's been fine. But it's just exhausting, you know? Um. But I found out today that, that a second death mark came out. Like, I remember them announcing it, like, two years ago or something like that. Um, but they only had, like, a release date for the, Jap like, the, the Japanese, uh, language version. Um. And, and so it was like, ah, you know, it's gonna be like, who knows how long before we get an English version. Um, and surprise, it came out on the 15th. <gasps> I'm glad you're free, Emmy. It's a good thing, too, because I haven't started yet. Because everything decided to fucking explode. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so Deathmark 2, it's, it, it takes place with the, the original protagonist, which is great. Um, I don't remember what we named her boy. I meant to look that up, and then I got distracted by all the fucking tech issues. Um, I am gonna try and mute myself every time I cough. I am fine. Um, the weather being as horrible as it's been, and by horrible I mean very cold and then very hot and then very cold again, uh, is wreaking havoc on my asthma right now. <laughs> so I sound horrible. I feel fine. Um, I did have like a, the start of a sinus infection earlier this week, but like, that's cleared. We're fine. No sinus infection actually. But between like, you know, just gross, gross snot drainage. <laughs> and, like, the air constantly trying to murder my lungs. Um, it just sound horrible. I actually, like, I've had to use my inhaler over the last couple of days, which I, like, haven't had to do in a while. <laughs> um, so that's been interesting. Glad I have one. Glad I've got it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and mute myself anytime I have to, uh, I have to cough, so... If I just suddenly go quiet, that's why. Um, does anybody remember? Like I said, I'm gonna look it up now. We're just gonna sit here on this menu and listen to Spotify uh, while I look it up. But does anyone happen to remember what we named our boy? I wanna say it was. I wonder, did we just like keep it his regular name? I think the first time that I played this with Emmy, we named him Joffrey for obvious Emmy and me reasons. I say obvious. Obvious reasons that uh, Emmy and I would find obvious. Um, but I don't remember. I think we might have just kept it his actual name. Un momento, por favor. That is... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I threw that. Uh, but how's everyone doing? How are y'all? How goes? You doing great? Let me make sure my Switch doesn't fall asleep. Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. As far as, like, the tech issues are concerned. 
Um, I would just go back to the chatting screen, but it's just gonna be awkward and weird. You're happy to be free, need to be home now? Soon. Soon. Um, you're getting there. It's gonna be great. Honestly, it's been like, the fact that it was like negative 11 last night, and then like 27 degrees today, and is now back down to just being like ridiculously cold again. Um, I'm not happy about that. Also, I found Deathmark playlist. Oh god, this was forever ago. Oh god, this was forever ago. Why did y'all let me do this? <laughs> what did we name him? Hold on, I think I found it. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I just, just wanted to hear what that sounded like. Pass me, do a thing. Hi, Farley. Did we do? We named him Vincenzo Cost. We named him Vincenzo Cost. <laughs> okay. All right. I remember. <laughs> I knew. I I could have sworn we had done something silly, but then I was like, maybe we did just like go default name. No, we went Vincenzo Cost. All right. Let's get that out of here. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. I'm sorry if it's too loud to start. I will wiggle the sound around. Hey, distributing this game software, including videos, images, and sounds to the internet, making it available for download without express written permission is strictly prohibited. Just in, in case you were wondering. <laughs> um, as always, we have the content warnings in chat. However... This game is new enough uh, that no one had put up a Does the Dog Die page yet. Oh god, let's go ahead and mark yes to misophonia, because that was horrible. Um, it's new enough that nobody's, like, filled it out. I had to make a new one. That's horrible. Um, I love it. <laughs> so, as per usual, if people want to go and and help out the Does the Dog Die page, you can fill out the content warnings as we play. But this is also the official warning that I don't know what kind of content is going to be in this. If it's anything like the first one, ghosts, uh, jump scares, flashing lights, um, probably some mild sexual content. Um, it does look like, like over here in the corner that there's a baby tied up. So that's a thing. Um... <laughs> Let's go! Um, do I wanna keep. I might have to wiggle the captions around depending on where. Uh. The, the text boxes show up, but I'll also be reading them out. You know what? I hate, I hate to do this, especially when I don't have my face up. You know what? No, fuck it. We're keeping the captions. Y'all can y'all can cope. Um, I will. No, I won't do that actually, cause that one's too tiny. Okay, that's fine. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just know we don't have official content warnings. That looks very loud. I mean, that sounds very loud to me, but it also looks very loud. Um, we're kind of we're kind of going into into this blind. I'm just excited that our boy from the first game is back, because, let's be real, protagonist from NG, I was talking to Emmy about this earlier, uh, kinda dumb, kinda boring? I do remember that we named him, what was it like, Diablo. Gore! Delightful! It was some sort of my immortal reference. Tokyo to H Never mind, I'm not gonna read these out loud. 
数週間前に起こった生徒の失踪だった失踪の前日に学園の掲示板に奇妙な手紙が貼られていたというそこにはこうあったリボンを今夜ハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハナコハ不穏な噂が広がり始めトイレットゴーストハナコハナコは学校の外に出る幽霊に違いない<笑>失踪した生徒はきっとハナコに殺されている I love the art in this game I forgot how good it was そんな折またも死の宣告が学園に届く死を告げる死人の影それは Also, how is the game sound? Too loud? Not loud enough? There's the boy! Let's go back. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good, but also on mobile. Game sound seems at the right level? Great, perfect. It's the guy. Hey, tell me the rest of the story. We got caught off in the middle, remember? I've been thinking about it during class ever since. Isn't that how, like, the, the last game ended? Um, hold on. Captions are just kind of in the way. Back. Okay, I'm sorry. I am turning them off. I hate that. I hate doing that. Um, but they'll be added. Uh, it's fine. If we really want them back, I'll do it. Um, did it start with two girls talking? I thought it also ended with two girls talking. Ah, uh, who fucking knows? It's fine. Um, the story? You mean? About the departed thing? Yeah, that one. The art is so good. It's so good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey! That lady doesn't look good. No, 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 no. I'm turning him back on. Is it really here at school? Obviously, duh. The departed turns itself into a human to kill us. Damn, doesn't that mean we're, like, in danger? You know, Takai and 2B, they're supposedly missing. But everyone's been saying they got killed by the departed. Just like the notice on the bulletin board said. Are we not gonna talk about Corpse Lady here on the left? Wait, hold on. Don't tell me. Remember the second year who committed suicide? You think the departed killed him too? Could be. That means the departed's the cause of all the strange things happening at school lately? That's really crazy. You know, maybe you're their next target. Sorry, I was gonna turn it down just a smidge. Hey, knock it off! You're creeping me out. If anything, it's probably gonna be you first. So my grades are better than yours. The heck? That's how it works. Right? After that, the student's conversation detours onto the topic of some popular TV shows. They're chatting merrily. The unpleasant subject they broached earlier cast aside. For them, a spooky story about someone's death is probably just another form of mindless entertainment. They're just rumors, after all. The sound of a bell rings loudly in my ears. It must be coming from the school's clock tower. Students are apparently desensitized to it, as hardly any of them react to its sound. Man in coat! It's almost time for my appointment. Yeah, okay, Vincenzo. Chapter one! 
The departed. Oh. Man's got it covered. Sorry. Uh, I enter the Kono Konoehara Academy through the main gate. And I head to the appointed building on the outskirts of the school grounds. Once inside, I quickly consult the guide map at the entrance. Faculty room seems to be this way. There's some teachers left in the office. I ask one of them to call the headmaster, Konoe. <laughs> wow! Look at this guy! Seizo? Seizo? Seizu? Seizo. My, my, so you really came. Welcome to Konoehara Academy. I'm Seizo Konoe, headmaster of the school. Yeah, so fucking dapper. Look at this dude. Mr. Konoe smiles, decked out in a flashy suit designed to call attention to the implied amount of money it cost its owner. We spoke on the phone once before I came here, but this is our first in-person interaction. Sorry for calling you here on short notice. Um, what's your name again? Age has really done a number on my member. It's Vincenzo Cost! Let me introduce myself again, then. My name is... There's our idiot boy. The surname. So, Cost first. <laughs> No. Use cost as your surname? Yes, please. Vincenzo. Is that how you spell it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna look that up dead quick, cause I don't know how the fuck you spell anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. I do know how to spell things. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Good point, Tom. <laughs> look, I got... I was gonna say, I have one eye and I can only look at one screen. That's a, a lie. I do have... I do have uh, two eye eyes, but I still can only look at one screen at a time. Um... Spelled East Coast as cost. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a common spelling mistake. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, Tom? Yes, I would like to use Vincenzo as my name. Is your name Vincenzo Cost? Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> Yosh. My name is Vincenzo Cost. Ah, yes, that's right. Terribly sorry. Heard about you from one of our teachers. Damon? I mentioned your name when I discussed The Departed with him. Do we know that? Do we know them? I want to say we know them. Maybe maybe that's just like such a, a silly name that I just imagined that that's someone we know. Whatever, it's fine. It's been a minute since I've played the first one. I would like to revisit it just like on my own time. But, you know. Um... Ugh. You were apparently quite versed in matters of the occult. You an exorcist, perchance? I could have sworn there was a, a, a character in the first one named Damon, though. It was canon that our character had amnosia. We were an amnosia sufferer. No, not at all. I've just happened to stumble into strange happenings a lot more than the average person. That's it. Nothing can compare to a professional. Oh, really? But you've solved supernatural cases before, have you not? Yeah, there was there was Party Bee Man, and and then there was the, the sweet little Vine Kid. Um, Prager's Lady was was the second game, wasn't it? Horrible Bird Woman. No, I'm confusing two two together. <coughs> Ostrich Lady. Ostrich Snake Lady was definitely was definitely the first one, like Miss Miss Zoo or whatever. Horrible woman. 
I just got lucky. I'm telling you, I really don't have any special techniques or anything like that. I don't know what to make of you. Headmaster pointedly raises his eyebrows. I don't blame him for feeling doubtful or suspicious. I got tangled up in some bizarre incidents and have found myself in life or death situations several times. Fortunately, I managed to survive with some res resourcefulness. I can read. Don't worry. It's really all there is to it. I'm not some kind of subject matter expert like the headmaster wants. But Damon is a trustworthy man whose opinion I respect. If he vouches for you, then I shall do my best to trust you. Besides, I have no time to find an alternative. Especially considering that we found a new notice this afternoon. <gasps> a new notice, you say? Pulls out a piece of paper. I take it from him. Gross. This is The Departed's Notice. There are red fingerprints on it. Could it be blood? Oh, that? I've heard that's mold, not a blood stain. I'm not familiar with the mold of that hue, however. On. Okay. Um. I open the letter and skim through it. Dear pianist, Hanako will kill you tonight. I'm watching. Hiding in the school. Your beloved. The Departed. We got notice for pianist. Yeah, I'm also I'm also not familiar with blood staying bright red, but hey. Maybe they finally cracked the code. That's the second notice we've gotten. Told you about the first one during our call. It was addressed to Ribbon, right? I believe so. Something seems to have happened to it. It's nowhere to be found now. Previous headmaster got scolded by the cops because it's, it had gone missing. Just as the notice predicted, the student named in it vanished. And you think it was the Departed's doing? No, I don't believe in ghosts and the like. I assume these kids have simply gone missing, but... But quite a lot of people believe it was the Departed's doing. I'm reminded of the conversation I overheard at the front gate. Rumors about the Departed seem to be spreading among the students. And that's why I called you. Even our most anxious pupils should be relieved when they see that we have an expert looking into the situation. Once again, I must remind you that I'm not an expert. Well, play the part then. Investigate the school tonight and inform the students that there's no such thing as the Departed. That should be enough to assuage the fears of the superstitious folks. Dots. He may claim the departed doesn't exist, but we won't know the truth of the matter until we investigate. I am noticing that my captions are, like, worse than usual, and I think it's because I'm a little congested. I don't want to get rid of them, though. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm so sorry. Um. Yeah, I won't know until we investigate. I'll go along with him for tonight and see what I can find. Headmaster and I wait until tonight. Until night, excuse me. Some time has passed since the sunset. Headmaster and I are the only ones left. Not a student or teacher in sight. We've waited long enough. Let's look around. School at night's a rare privilege, eh? Enjoy it while you can, cost. I've... D bruh. I did this a couple of times in the first game. It's not that we weird or rare of a situation. Listen. Been there, done that. <laughs> we leave the faculty room and begin searching the special building. We visit the infirmary, library, and student council room. But we don't find anything unusual. I miss Mary. Look, I know she was evil, but I miss her. It's unseasonably cold, no? Autumn is barely upon us. If I'd have known it'd be like this, I would have dressed more warmly. So why is the headmaster patrolling the school anyway? You could have had one of the younger teachers handle it. Really now, think about it. Do you think I could request that a teacher work overtime to search for ghosts? Nonsense. And since I've only recently been installed as headmaster, I couldn't exactly cajole anyone into doing the job. 
I'm left with no choice but to push my old bones and see to it myself. He heaves a big sigh. I guess being the newcomer at school always has drawbacks, even for a headmaster. Anyway, let's go to the new building next. Follow me, Cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Leaving the special building, we walk through the corridor and head to the new building. Now loading. <gasps> Let's investigate the first floor of the new building. We usually lock the classrooms, but I've requested they remain unlocked just for tonight. Inspect the rooms as you need. I'll leave the expert to do his work. They're really pushing this expert thing. Denying it is getting annoying, and seeing that it's not having any effect, I decide to simply ignore it now. Shall we begin the investigation? Let's start with the first year classrooms. Directional buttons. Press B to run. When you approach doors, stairs, and the end of a path, arrow symbols will appear. Press the directional buttons in the direction. Understood. Hold on. The event log can be accessed by pressing plus. Use plus when you can't press ZR or press the wrong button. What? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, I'm very easily amused, apparently. Yeah, all right. Wait, that's glowing. Darkness is spread outside the window. My eyes are slowly acclimating to the darkness, and I start to vaguely distinguish trees standing nearby. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I really liked the... Uh, the investigation style from the first one. And I guess the second one did it too, where it was like, you know, you, you just looked around, but I can dig this. Uh, who the fuck? <laughs> See a girl dressed in a school uniform. Actually, I can turn off my stream light since, uh, I don't have a camera up. What's the student still doing here? Strange. I I know, I've already seen glimmering spots. And I've and I've investigated before. Hello. Black haired girl. Uh I don't mean to re be rude, ma'am, but you got a little something something on your face. Who who are you? Hello. Don't worry, I'm not breaking in. Your headmaster's right here behind me. He's not the headmaster! No, it's- it's- it's fine. Looks like she's less tense now. Guess that managed to reassure her. She has a mark on her left cheek. A mysterious mark that looks like a pattern. Is it natural? Um, can you stop staring at me like that? Oh, sorry about that. Aren't you from the student council? Yes, my name is Himiko Doryu. I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher all of these names. School grounds are closed. What are you doing here? Doryu falls silent after the headmaster confronts her. Seems like she's got a reason, but she's hesitant to talk. Let's see what information I can learn from Himiko. Let's just chat. Uh, actually, I'm looking for Izumi. I can't find him anywhere. Who's Izumi? Yeah, she's got a moderate case of the purples. We've seen worse around here. Oh boy, have we seen worse. But we should probably get that addressed. <laughs> you know, so she doesn't get a, a severe case of the purples. Uh, Toshihiko Izumi from the Student Council. We, we have notes now. On Toshihiko Zumi. We've discovered topics of conversation. Gives us more things to ask. Great. Uh, can I chat with her some more? No, she just she just says the same thing. Okay. Uh, let's discuss. Izumi-san. 
excuse me, let's let's discuss the departed first. Yeah, you want to get that looked at. Nobody wants a, a case of the purples. Everyone's talking about it. The department the departed's roaming around the school. They're issuing death notices. Or the person named in the notice is killed by Hanako. Do you believe those rumors? Yes, because someone was actually killed. Ahem. <clears throat> Would you mind correcting what you said, Doryu? No one is dead. They simply ran away from home. Okay. That's the name in the notice, isn't it? They all say Hanako's true identity is Hanako of the Twilight. Told you. Knew it. <laughs> that name sounds familiar. Is that the name of a female spirit? Hanako of the Toilet is the spirit of a girl with bobbed hair and a red skirt. She usually appears in the school restrooms. Well, she is Hanako of the toilet for a reason. Do you know anything else? Um, I don't know much more about that. I, I think she, like, asks if you want to, like, play, play, t like, hide and seek or something with her. Not to be confused with the other toilet monster that asks if you want the red or the blue toilet paper. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot of weird toilet ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> As if we needed more reasons to fear the bathroom. <laughs> I I try not to pay too much attention to it, since this kind of stuff really freaks me out. Her body's shaking. She must be terrified. Can't say that comes as a surprise. Let's talk about Izumi. Izumi left the student council room and didn't return even after school closed. So the vice president is searching for him now. He looked around the new building and the special building. Can't find him anywhere. Did you mention this to the teacher? No, I thought we'd find him quickly. And now that school's closed, it'd be even harder to tell them. Do you have any clues? Like the last thing he said to you or anything like that? Hold on, I have to put on some chapstick real fast. Uh, cause talking is going to dry out my lips. Great. Noryu steals a glance at me, seemingly hesitant to answer the question. You may not believe it. He looked pale before he left. And then he said, The departed is calling me. Come again? Uh, can we- I- there's nothing else I can ask her about unless I can revisit specific topics? Uh... Doryu has given up trying to mask her emotions, and she looks straight at us. I don't know who you are, but you better give up. Give up on what? The Departed. If you get curious about the Departed's true identity, you'll become their target. That's what they say. She seems to adamantly believe that the Departed exists. Now I see why the headmaster was worried about trying to calm the students down. He didn't want more of them ending up like this. You should just go home, Doryu. We'll look for Hizumi. Uh, understood. I'll get going then. Is that how she got the mark? She got she got too interested in the in the departed. Things are getting more complicated. <sighs> Let's search for Izumi first and save the matter of the departed for later. Which reminds me, you're not familiar with this school yet. Just ask me if you're unsure where to go. Oh, okay. Party chat! I can speak with my party members by pressing Y. Talking with members of your party may yield new clues. Guess who's only ever gonna talk about them? Or talk to them? Yeah, we got some character files. It'll keep notes about our character, the people that we meet. It's also accessible from the gallery. Understood. That's not too different from the original, I don't think. Ooh, hmm. ooh, what's in here? There's a sturdy, well-made well lectern and podium for teachers here. I can, ma can imagine... Oh my god, sorry. I can imagine a teacher standing here and lecturing their students. No, can I talk to my friend? Let's go find Izumi first, Kost. 
Nor you said she already looked around the entirety of the new building. She's a stand-up student. I doubt she thought to search the area where boys would be forbidden to enter. Oh, so, like... Like the ladies' room? I don't... But, but sir, we can't go in there. We're not ladies. Desks are lined up perfectly. Just that side alone is all you'd need to get a feel for the school's prestige. Anything in that lectern? No. Okay. I know he wants us to go to, like, a specific place, but listen. We're gonna look everywhere. There's a large bulletin board here. This is where the first notice was posted. Hold on. I'm gonna... Turn this down for myself, because it is quite loud. But that shouldn't affect it for y'all. Um, if it does, I'll just let me know. When I move the papers around, I find a stab wound on the board that looks like it was made by a knife. Looking closely at it, I can see some faint red marks. I wouldn't have called you here if there wasn't a notice here. Okay, well. Doesn't mean I can't look at it for myself, bucko! This is the main entrance of the new building. School gate is right ahead. Shoe lockers for the students are placed near the entrance. But I need that shoe dust. Notices for students are posted on the bulletin board. Students, please avoid loitering at the school. Head home as soon as classes are over. It's an inevitable measure, considering all the strange incidences that have occurred. As nerve-wracking as it is, this is a necessary precautionary measure. Necessary precautionary measure. Female restroom. Male restroom. Is there anything else around here? Again, it feels like the toilets are, like, where we're supposed to go. You know, because that's where Hanako hangs out, right? What's this? Yes. There are portraits of famous musicians on the wall. Some smiling, some frowning. Their eyes won't move no matter how long you stare at them. But what if they do? Yes. Here's a black grand piano. Is that all you have to say? It's locked. Door won't open. Okay. Wow! Oh god, hold on! The old man noises, though! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> See, pale reflection of my face in the mirror. Are you tired? You look dead inside. Thanks! Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Ur urinal appears to be clean with no visible stains. It's really clean. Great. Can I go in the stall? First person investigation. Move the cursor around, press A to investigate, press B to leave the area. Eyeball. Hmm. Toilet bowl is spotless. No dirt at all. Feel uneasy about peering inside toilet bowls, even though I have to. <laughs> yeah! First person pissing! Let's go! <laughs> Can I... is there... It doesn't really seem like there's anything else to look at, huh? We're done pissing. What's in here? Can I also just look at the bowl and that's it? What are the numbers above our, our character icons? Vincenzo's got a 30. And, and Mr. Oldman's got a 28. Toilet bowl spotless, no dirt. Well, I'm glad there's no dirt. Toilet cleaning equipment is stored inside here. The way the mops and brushes are all jumbled up inside here, it feels like the entire lot is going to fall at any moment. Sorry, the man makes very funny noises. Um, again, waiting to go to the toilet. <coughs> Sorry. These stairs lead up. Oh, there's no need to go to either the second or the third floor at the moment. Oh. Okay, well, 
I guess it's it's the ladies' toilet. We go. This is the female restroom, a place forbidden to men and boys. Considering Goryu's personality, I doubt she'd even she'd ever consider looking for a boy in here. She may not have searched here, but would it not be inappropriate for us to enter this place? Bruh. I think I think given the circumstances, it's fine. It's for the investigation. Well, you're not wrong. But this is it, th but this is an emergency. We need to investigate here as well. No one will find out if we keep it between us. Why are you making this so weird? Sir. All of a sudden, the light goes out. As if somebody's trying to prevent us from entering this place. No way. Is there something lurking here? Oh, goodness. Did it go out again? Headmaster responds nonchalantly. The electricity's been acting up lately. It's not the first time this has happened. I've tried to get it fixed, but it's not easy to book an appointment with a repairman these days. Anyway, you needn't trouble yourself. There's nothing mystical about it. We're not being haunted or whatever you call it in your line of work. Still, though, it's hard to see in the dark. Hold on a sec. You got a flashlight? You always bring a flashlight? Yeah, you do. I open my bag and take out my flashlight. Always prepared. Oh, someone's well prepared, eh? Investigating in the dark is something a spirit hunter like you must be skilled at. Sir, do you know what my job is? <laughs> Use my trusty flashlight when investigating dark areas. If you discover an investigation point in the area illuminated by the flashlight, you can inspect it. Yeah, okay, that's... Whoa! Wiggling that around! Hmm. That's, that's just what he's doing! I can faintly see, see a pale reflection of my face in the mirror. I hate this. <laughs> Hello! We had a couple of flashlight bits in, in the first two, and sometimes it would reveal a scary face. Hmm. If you if you put the light over it, so put the little spotless. That is one reason why we'll be flashing it everywhere so we can see the scary ghosts. Nothing. Hmm. Spotless. Oh. Ah, there's things everywhere. Okay, hold on. Yes. Toilet bowl. Spotless? It's spotless. Now that we've checked all the toilet bowls, did you manage to gain any useful info cost? Bruh! Cool, cool. Back off. <laughs> Red marker is lying on the floor. Have you noticed the writing on the wall? Bet this is what they used to write. I have, sir. I did notice. I'm trying to look at all the things that seem least important. I feel like the writing would be very important and my I don't want to I don't want to activate a freaking ghost. <gasps> I'm sorry your phone kept cutting out, but welcome home. Yeah, we're in a toilet now. We're in the ladies toilet. Can't believe they left the evidence after scribbling on the wall. We're going to damage the school's reputation, sir. I don't think a little bathroom graffiti is is going to damage the school that much. Mr. Conaway. Mind if I keep this marker? You want to keep it? I love toilet pens. It's my, they're my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, maybe related to our investigation. This is nothing but a rule of thumb, but... Usually when items are found in a spirit's hideout, they're tied to that spirit. Even a seemingly ordinary marker like this can be a clue. Fine, do what you want. Investigating spirits sure is troublesome work, eh? You, you even have to pick up things like this. It's a pen! And it's in a clean bathroom! I don't see what the problem is, sir! Sorry, this headmaster is annoying me. <laughs> what a dweeb. Yes. Upon close inspection, I notice that there are traces of something scribbled on the wall. Should be able to make out some of it. Right? The bathroom is so clean! <laughs> I don't think, normally I, if I, you know, if I were to find a pen in a bathroom, I'd be like, 
I'm good. That can stay there. Who knows who's piss that has been on that. But like, this is a very clean bathroom. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and we're investigating. Like, come on. I need that piss pen. <laughs> Should be able to make out some of it. Disgusting. Annoying. Just die already. While I can't read the name, someone's obviously being badmouthed pretty harshly. It's just typical high school bullshit. Uh oh. I got scared. So is that like our health or our sanity? <laughs> just then toilet suddenly flushes. I like how we took like two damage just from a toilet flushing. <laughs> Say, has the toilet here been acting weird too? I got too scared. Two. Number two. No, I've not heard any such reports. Probably just accidentally touched the lever. I'm standing over here. While the water was flowing, I heard a voice. Right? He's seen so much! We did have- that was one of the other ones, wasn't it? Like, the- the bride ghost? Oh, that poor woman. <laughs> that was another freaky one that we- that we saw. And then there was- there was party god. Party B god. That guy. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hey. Wait. Sorry, hold on. I don't know why uh, my timer did that, because that's not... You're not even toggled on. I'm not streaming with Emmy, is the thing. <laughs> Whatever. The voice of a girl saying, give it back. Get it back. Uh, we're going corpse party territory now. I felt like I had energy drained from my body. I don't think I just imagined that. Spirit just contact me? Spirit and damage. Various mishaps may harm characters mentally and physically during investigations or battle. You were like, that sounded familiar. It's corpse party. She wants her tongue back. Give her her tongue back. Costas party members can take spirit damage during these times. If you run out of spirit, the investigation will come to an end. Or worse, you'll die. Keep an eye on how much spirit you have and make sure not to let it reach zero. Okay. Don't you think we've investigated enough here? No, we have to look in the closet. Feel really uncomfortable. Let's leave. Then you go! You'll either lose or lose, parenthetical. Die! I don't want to go back in the stall. I don't want to look at the toilet. Stop making me look at the toilet. <laughs> This is a cleaning cupboard. Everything is put away neatly inside as opposed to the boy's room, which was looked like it was gonna fall. It's true, the toilet could flush at any moment. Um, I can't do anything. Oh, that's because we were reacting to the piano. Okay. <laughs> Sound of a piano reverberates through the building. I didn't hear anything. Must be your imagination. I didn't say shit. <laughs> Mr. Conaway. I I'm just joking. The piano's in the music room. Bruh. Can we just leave this horrible old man behind? <laughs> Enter the music room and scan the place. However, no one is here. See? Nobody's here. You really are just imagining things. There's no possible way you heard the piano. Hold on, I have to move my microphone just a touch closer. Finally reached the logical conclusion. Ha ha! Sir. His triumphant voice echoes off the hall off the walls in the empty room. Is there really no one here? Better check the place out to be sure. <gasps> ghosts! I'm gonna get you, ghosts. There's a black grand piano. Did this thing really make a sound just now? Let's take a closer look. Detailed investigation. When inspecting an investigation point, you may be able to conduct a detailed investigation. 
Doing so will allow you to inspect it more thoroughly and use items. There are times when you can even use special actions. Uh, inspect? A vintage piano fitting for a school with such a long history. So this is death mark, but we don't have a death mark. I mean, we don't have a death mark yet. Yet. <laughs> I I don't know if we're going to get a death mark uh, like we did in the first one. It might just be the naming convention to like let you know that this is a continuation from the first one as opposed to because they're all this all three games thus far. Uh, death mark and Jeep and and uh, death mark two are all part of the spirit hunter series, right? Um, so they're like Spirit Hunter Deathmark, Spirit Hunter NG, and Spirit Hunter Deathmark 2. Uh, so I imagine that this, it, it be being named that will just let you know that it's got some of the characters from the first one. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That girl did have a thing on her face. Uh, it didn't look like a Deathmark, but it might, might be. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Uh, it's elegant appearance with the muted polish really makes it the centerpiece of this room. Oh, okay, yeah. The We spoke to a girl earlier, um, and she had, like, a like a weird purple mark on her face. Um, and, and we were staring at it and made her uncomfortable. Oopsies. <laughs> like you do. The lid is open. I should be able to play the piano, then. Um, can I flick? What do you mean flick? I reach my finger towards the piano keys. That's more than a flick! <laughs> I have hurt us. <laughs> Don't startle me like that, Cost! I thought my heart was gonna stop. <sighs> my word. So sorry about that. I'm not that sorry. It isn't just the headmaster. I'm feeling ill after playing the piano as well. Suddenly a portrait falls at the other end of the room. It's too much to be a coincidence. A single one? A single portrait? It looked like all of them fell. What are you talking about? No, he's definitely taking damage. <laughs> he didn't take damage with the toilet, but he took damage with the with the fixtures fallen. Uh, maybe a spiritual phenomenon? I should ex uh, examine further. Can I look at the cool. this more though? No, no, we're done. We're done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sir. Portrait hanging on the wall has fallen, and it was right after I played the piano. What unusual timing. If it's not a coincidence, what's going on here? Yoshi. There's a poster on the floor. Must have, un co must have come unglued from the nearby bulletin board. Curious, I pick it up. Attention brass band club members, notice a change of lead. We'd like to inform you that the pianist for the recital of our school song at the upcoming ceremony has been changed. Previous, Hanako Akai, 2B. New, Toshihiko Izumi, 2C. That makes sense. That would be why Izumi was like, the, the, the departed calls for me. This isn't good. If the Departed's notice is real, then Izumi may be the target. Slow down, Goss. You have some rationale for that claim, correct? L Bruh! Bruh. Listen. Look at this poster. <laughs> Izumi is a pianist. That's what I'm basing my assertion on. It's written in the notice. They'll kill the pianist. And Izumi is a pianist. Th that's just a coincidence. The Departed doesn't exist. Izumi, a pianist, has been worried about the Departed, and now he's disappeared the same day that the notice arrived. Do you really think this is all a coincidence? Uh. <clears throat> ah! <coughs> Headmaster abruptly starts coughing. Is he also affected by the weather? 
His face is drenched in sweat. He's so pale, he looks like he could collapse at any moment. Are you alright? Far from it. I can barely breathe, and my heart is racing. Forget Brandy. I just want to drink some water and calm down. Who said anything about Brandy, sir? Sorry, but can you let me rest in the infirmary for a spell? The infirmary is in the special building. Guess we better go there. You can check the description of an item by selecting item. Try to read the description of any word that- or any item that has detail on it. Oops. Wrong button. Is that it? Spirit file. Man's got a quartz tie pen. And we've got our favorite bag. Uh, details. Monica will kill you tonight. I'm watching, hiding in the school. Your beloved. Poster just gives us what we've read. Tonoe's favorite item, a tie pen made of pure silver with a clear crystal attached on the base. Quartz is rumored to have protective powers. Effect plus two spiritual power. It was purchased from a secondhand dealer acquaintance. I got numbers. It's true. Cost's favorite item, a large branded leather shoulder bag made in Europe, can hold a plethora of items. Effect plus 1% to execution rate and suspensive axe. Suspensive axe gift from sister. Oh, execution rate and in suspensive, suspensive axe. New line, gift from sister. <laughs> we got numbers, we got strength, we got int, we got dex, we got SP. Why is this old man so dexterous? What the fuck? <laughs> Plus one percent suspensive sister arts. Let's go. I know how to read. Here's the thing. We gotta go to the special building. I need this old man to stop making these horrible noises. It just gotta have some stats. For stats, stat reasons. I wanna say we had stats in the first one, they just didn't matter much. <laughs> I could be wrong though. Listen, it's been a minute. I don't know what's going on. We leave the new building and go back to the special building. Once there, we head to the infirmary. It's gonna be a, a Seiko situation, isn't it? We're gonna get in here. He's gonna be weird and gay towards us, and then we're gonna leave him alone. And, and by the next time we see him, we'll be hanging dead in the <laughs> in the closet. Um, I, again, I could also be wrong that there were numbers in the first one. I vaguely like I I <laughs> I vaguely remember it having like an RPG maker f feel. Um, of just, like, there being, like, you know, character stats and stuff like that, but it literally just makes zero difference to anything. Um, there's a, there's a funny little skeleton in the corner. You got a skeleton over there. Let's see if you call it. <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand with this. Maybe give or take the, uh, um, you know, uh, whatever. The, the gay moment. Stats mean nothing in Corpse Party. The stats mean nothing in Eve. Uh, I mean, like, basically every RPG maker ever. Um, very few of them actually, like, use the, the RPG style stats, which is very funny to me. <laughs> uh, it's a great place to get a drink of water and lie down for a break. Let's talk to the headmaster in a bit. I want to record my progress first. Are we use this as saving? Your spirit will automatically recover when you go back to the infirmary. Oh, so the infirmary is, is safe. It is true. RPG Maker games have stats because you can't make them leave. They're, they're proprietary. They have to exist. Uh, you just don't have to implement them. As, as in, you don't have to, like, build your game around them. They will be there, though. You will have to look at the numbers at some point. Uh, if for no other reason than they just exist there. Uh, and that's very funny to me. 
uh, don't forget to say to save game. I save game. We save game. Oh god, we've been here for an hour already. <laughs> uh, finally, break time. Sorry for troubling you. What do you want to ask? The fuck was that back there, my guy? That's what I want to ask. Oh my, I'm absolutely shattered right now. Who would have thought I'd need to deal with this sort of thing so soon after I was appointed? When did you get here? Just a few days ago. I was supposed to be installed here next year, but it happened early on account of the previous headmaster's collapse. Um... Okay, yeah, you're saying the same thing. You want to talk about The Departed? I've told you all I know. I want to put an end to this whole The Departed situation as soon as possible. Many students overreact to spiritual nonsense. Uh, rumors of the supernatural and no basis in reality. You talking about Doryu? She's one of them. Better than others, though. Some even skip class because they believe they may be targeted. I want to clear this rubbish from their minds so they can focus on their schoolwork. That's the spirit referred to in the notice, right? I don't believe such a being exists in my school. Assuming the rumors are true, Hanako must refer to the tale of Hanako of the Toilet. And if you believe what the notice said... I have a feeling this Hanako is being used by the Departed to attack the students. Do you think it's a... I mean, that's, that'd be exactly like the first one, right? You've got, like, this this big of being Mary, in, in, in the case of the first one. Spoilers. <laughs> like, controlling all these other, other spirits to, like, you know, spread the curse or whatever. Okay. Um... This whole thing is getting beyond absurd. A spirit is making another spirit attack people? Are we in a fantasy world or something? Bruh, listen, I just explained it. I know he can't hear me, but I can still get mad at him because he annoys me. Wonder where Izumi is. Based on Doryu's statement, I doubt he's in the special building or the new building. Is there anywhere else? Let's see. The old building, I suppose. These are horrible names for your buildings. <laughs> That place is basically abandoned, though. Nobody'd have a reason to sneak in there at night. It's precisely why we need to go look. Uh, is it locked? At night, yes. During the day, it's open because it's been re repurposed as a storeroom. Oh, if it were my choice to make, I'd rather keep it locked during the daytime as well, given recent events. Uh, oops. <laughs> oops. Right? Sir, this is a high school? Of course people will try to sneak into there. For real. That's like what they do. He pa pauses, looking like he's accidentally let something slip. What happened in the old building? No comment. Doesn't have anything to do with this. Can you please just pay that no mind? It's a sensitive topic. All the more reason for you to tell me about it. Tell me. This fucking guy. What's it going? I'm worried about Izumi. Where should we explore next, Cost? You're not going to say the old building, are you? I'm going to say the old building. That's exactly what I was going to say, actually. Where else would you suggest? Oh, come on. It's locked. There's no way Izumi's in there. There's no point in going there. I don't intend to snoop, but I need to be sure he's not in there. You're one stubborn fellow. Fine. This amateur shall yield to the opinion of an expert. Where do you go from here? The door in front of the music room leads to the corridor. Just go straight from there and you'll reach the old building. Okay, but it's locked. So are you gonna, like, let us in? I'm gonna save because, you know, we just, we just did some things. We just did little things. It's just little things. By the way, Cost. Do you have any weapons? Weapons? If we're dealing with spirits here, you must have some kind of talisman or holy water, right? Exorcists do usually carry those sorts of things. But I'm not an exorcist, so I don't have them. Yeah, we <laughs> How many times do we have to go over this? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not... Is it the, the protagonist of Faith called John? I just know Gary. I just know that Gary loves me. And that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll give you this. Headmaster pulls out a small knife from a leather... Leather... Leather sheath! The main character is John. Okay. <laughs> that's what I thought. I have played Faith before. I just... Just don't pay attention to names. I just know Gary. Looks like a valuable antique, though the blade is thin and doesn't seem like it'd be all that useful in a fight. My grandfather founded this school, and this knife is part of his collection. I heard it's supposed to be a talisman. Who knows? Maybe it'll work against spirits. You're pretty well prepared for someone who doesn't believe in the supernatural. That's just my personality. I don't believe, but there's no harm in being prepared just in case. Please take it with you. Thanks. So who'd your grandfather kill? <laughs> Treat her with Carol, right? It's a memento I received from my grandfather. Yeah, who th who did he murder? <laughs> I have questions. This man sounds like he's gonna pass out at any second. My god. All right. <laughs> right? Man's got a million dexterity. He's gonna be fine. Um, Why hey. <laughs> Excuse me. You can get to the old building using the corridor in front of the music room. Are we, are we really going? Oh, in front of the music room. Sorry, I... For some reason thought it was that door. Yeah, we, we heal every time we... Oh, I had to walk up a little bit. Anytime you go into the infirmary, you heal up. Apparently, infirmary good. This should be the corridor that connects the two buildings. The surrounding area is shrouded in darkness. I can't see clearly. Do you want to pull your flashlight out? There are no lights in either this corridor nor the old building due to electrical issues. I procrastinated on getting it fixed because it wasn't causing any harm, but I regret that. You say you've only been here for like three days. What do you mean you procrastinated on it? He shrugs. This investigation will rely heavily on your flashlight. Okay, that's fine. That's why I've got it. You'll see anything scary in the background? From the corridor, there's a path that leads outside. Back path leads to the sports field and clock tower, and the front path connects to the courtyard. Did you see it? I haven't seen anything. Someone is standing at the end of the corridor. First three days, it felt like weeks for him, I guess. I guess. Oh, is this a zoomie? Ugh. Fuck. Shit. My head is killing me. Standing there is a male student. He holds his head in pain while spitting curses. Are you a zoomie? Huh? He responds and turns to us. Then... He nods. Are you alright? Shall we take you to the infirmary? Just leave me alone! Ah! He groans painfully before sinking into silence. Looks like he finds it hard to even speak. But I can't leave him alone. What should I do? Uh... No, no night classes. Everyone should, should be at home. Um, but Doryu, the girl that we spoke to earlier, Izumi, and one other person are lurking around because Izumi was missing? Or, like, Izumi was acting weird and, like, made it sound like he was gonna stay here and everyone was like, the fuck? <laughs> I think is, is what was happening. Um, I mean, can I press him for details? I'm gonna tell them about Doryu first. Student Council President Doryu is looking for you. She's really worried. Okay, uh, press on for details. What happened? What are you doing in school at this time of night? Alright, let's- <laughs> Wow, what a chatterbox. Ask him about the departed. Apparently you told Doryu the departed is calling you? Did you just say 
The Departed? Yeah, I know about them. <laughs> he lets out a disturbing laugh, his squeaky voice not sounding remotely normal. You see, The Departed is hiding out in our school to find the one. They disguise themselves as a human, and you can't even tell they're not human. I enough with the jokes. They're nothing but ridiculous rumors. It's true. You know why I think so? Because I know who the departed is. Huh? Who the hell is it? But it's too late now. I messed up. The departed hates me. I keep hearing a voice saying, Die, 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 die in my head. Get a grip, Izumi. Why do I have to suffer like this? Shit. Fuck! Izumi is deeply perturbed. Our voices aren't getting through to him. Please calm down. We need your cooperation so we can help you. Shut up, shut up, shut the hell up! I've got no fucking time left. I don't want to die! I'm gonna go to the music room and kill that Hanako bitch myself. He needs some milk. <laughs> He's perturbed. He's antsy. He's so dang wiggly. Uh, Izumi turns and runs back toward the old building. Sorry, it was very important that I think think to my oiter. Izumi. It's uh forget forget how uh how much reading there is in these games, <laughs> despite the fact that I knew what I was signing up for. Oiter is important, it's true. By the music room. Does he mean the music room in the old building? Hold on, there's a music room there? Mm -hmm. It's not used anymore, though, because Hanako was killed in the old music room, correct? You need to get noodles. We're coming into the kitchen with you. Doing it. We're gonna be kitchen buddies. <laughs> Glance down at the general area where Izumi was standing and something catches my eye. Looks like a knuckle duster. I didn't see this in his hand earlier, though. Did it fall out of his pocket? Maybe he brought it for self-defense, since he's frightened by the departed. What, what is he gonna do? Punch it? Yeah, punch that ghost. Why don't you keep it, Cost? Sure, just in case. What am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> Bruh. Old building. Door to the old building is unlocked. Great. Why is this door open? Should have been locked in the evening. Who cares about that right now? Let's go inside. Well, the structure is quite similar to the new building. It gives off an entirely different vibe. The wall is ridden with mold and dust. Cobwebs are strung up here and there. Physically have to stop myself from saying cobwebs. Forget about clean. This place isn't even ventilated. Heck! God, this place is so muggy. Let's leave the door open. After you, Cost. I extend my hand toward the door. Good junk. That's weird. Why won't it open? Because we're locked in. It can't be. Well, we live here now. Door won't budge, no matter how many times I try to open it. What in the world is happening? Are we trapped in here? Look, there's... It, worse comes to worse. There's windows. We can probably find a heavy object. Chuck it through the glass. Get out that way. It's fine. What happened, Cost? I'm not sure, but I can just kick the door down if push comes to shove. Or that. That can happen, too. Finding Izumi is our pri priority for now. Y you have a point. Locations of the rooms are the same in both the new and old buildings. That means the music room is right behind us. Or right beside us, excuse me. But before we do that... I want to I wanna poke around. <laughs> There's stairs leading up, but we need to focus our attention on the first floor now. What's a 
into the music room. I'm concerned about Izumi. No. Okay, whatever. Whatever, I guess. The old building's music room is just ahead. I hear a voice coming from inside when I walk toward the door. Uh. Ah! Uh, stay away from me! Stop right there! Somebody help! Help! Uh, hey, cost! Let's go. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> My hand! Well, he is a pianist no more. Immediately upon opening the door, we're greeted by a grisly sight. Filthy water shooting from a rubber hose has severed Izumi's ha left hand. How? The rubber ho hose is undulating in the air as if gravity holds no power over it. The filthy water issuing forth from the hose is lashing out with menace like a whip cracking through the air. It damped his hand off. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible way to lose a hand. There's no way a normal hose could contain a jet of water strong enough to dismember someone. Oh, is that what's happening? See, like, the water that's coming out of those hoses looks pretty... not... strong. So I wasn't sure, but I guess they just, yeah, just shot his hand off with some water, huh? Just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying, game. Yet, that's precisely what my eyes are telling me is happening. I don't have time to debate the plausibility of this scene. Just gotta accept it. Just accept that this impossible phenomenon is real and caused by a haunting. Both the water and hose begin to coil up, growing taut with tension. Are they readying to hit him again? What are you doing, Izumi? Run! Huh? Izumi turns around when I yell at him. The water's next strike narrowly misses him. The frantic Izumi rushes past me and out of the music room. The host disappears into the darkness, as if it is pursuing him. Whoa! What the hell was that? I don't know myself. Let's just save that for later. Now we have... We have drips? Why do I hear the sound of dripping water? Why is there water in the music room? It, are the hoses above us now? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hoses are wrapped around the headmaster's neck as if they're trying to lift him up. <laughs> this cannot be! Descending from the dark ceiling. Hoses have snagged the headmaster by his neck. They're coiled like snakes with murderous intent. Do I, I just need... I just... Let me get the knife out. And we'll cut him free. Er, at, guh. If this keeps up, his life's in jeopardy. I need to get rid of those hoses immediately. Knife, knife, knife. Suspensive act. Expensive act will occur when encountering a special situation. By making the appropriate decision, you can drastically alter the outcome of the situation. Think of it as a moment of truth. Ah, oh, jeez. There must be a tool I can use inside my bag. <gasps> Alice Jackson, thank you for the hydrate reminder. I can do that. Let me chug some water real quick. Reminder that y'all should drink some water as well. Vict. Am I Vict? <laughs> uh, what can I do about the hoses constricting the headmaster's neck? Does ice tea count? I'll let it slide. <laughs> we'll accept ice tea, I suppose. Drinking liquids in general. Good, good, good deal. Um, hold on just a second. 
Excuse me. Uh, we need to do so. We need to do something real quick. But should I do it or choosing a character during a suspensive act? You must first choose who is going to perform the action. Think carefully before making your decision. I mean, we have to, right? Because we have. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the menu. Or can everyone access my bag for some reason? Outfit change? Hold on. Huh? Oh! It just changes the color. I'd rather go with the normal one because it's very silly to me. Um. I mean. Yes. All right, what do we do next? I can use an item in the situation like... A knife! A knife! What do I do with this item then? Gotta choose the most appropriate action in order to have the outcome I want. Pry the gap between the hoses. Hold on, choose the most appropriate action for the list. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I want to cut the hoses. It costs more, but we have a higher chance of success, and I actually understand what that is. <laughs> Unless we're just trying to, like, loosen it from around the man's neck, but that doesn't make any sense. Just cut the hoses. Alright, here I go. I doubt anyone would be able to keep their cool in this situation. Panicking? Feeling pressure? Those kinds of things can increase the chance of failure. <laughs> Execution rate and failure. Oh no. During suspensive acts, not every action is doable. Each action has an execution rate that is based on the person performing the action. Your execution rate must be high enough for you to successfully perform the action. Okay, now that makes sense. Let's try ex executing that action! <laughs> Using the knife, I try to cut the hose, lifting the headmaster. That's a success! Right? Please! That's a success. I cut the hose bit by bit. I think I can do it. Hose gradually rips apart. Have we released the man? Finally breaks apart with a loud crack. Hurriedly sever the other hoses. These are horrible noises. The moment I finish cutting the last hose, my knife snaps. We lost Konoi's knife. Hey, sorry about that, buddy. <sighs> <laughs> Somehow, I've survived. Headmaster has been freed from the hoses binding. Looks like this is the right choice. Oh, good. Great. I think he'll understand. Here's hoping. I don't know. He was being real weird about it earlier. <laughs> correct and incorrect actions? Yeah. The action you executed just now was correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to successfully execute the correct action. In situations where you succeed at performing an action but still fail to get your desired result, you should pick another option. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you can also fail when you choose the wrong character. Try to choose the right person and the right action. Makes sense. I, I, I get it. <laughs> We've successfully broken through the tension of the suspensive act. You want to look for two main things when trying to get your desired outcome. Yeah. First, choose an action with high execution rate. Choose the correct action. There are also times when a suspensive act will be a multi-part event. I mean, that's really similar to, to the other ones. Uh, we're just calling it something different, I think. Can't believe I nearly hanged myself when you're... We're not even in financial trouble. D Sir? I have questions. <laughs> That'll bring bad luck. Glad you weren't injured. My luck has always been good. Except when it's not been. Let's chase after Izumi now. Oh. My god. Cost. Look at the floor. It's a trail of blood. Given the amount, this has to be Izumi's blood. The trail leads to the entrance of the old building. Where there's a big puddle of blood. The door looks like it's been painted red with blood smeared all over the handle and windows. 
<laughs> Zumi tried to run outside, except the door was locked. Is it still locked now? Do you want to touch it? <laughs> Putting some strength into the door, I attempt to push it open. And like the previous time, the door opens without any resistance at all. There are no traces of blood to be seen outside. Izumi's still in the building. Well, yeah, look, look at that. Holy shit, how is this man alive? <laughs> Judging by the amount of blood, Izumi is probably... Uh, one question, though, Cost. Where is he? Well... You just gotta, just gotta follow the trail, huh? No idea, but we should find him if we follow the trail. Listen, I don't, I don't think Izumi did pack extra blood today. Turn my eyes down the corridor. Fresh, glistening blood extends deep into the darkness. Oh god. Well, he definitely didn't go upstairs. Oh, he went into the ladies' bathroom. Male restroom is just up ahead. Trail of blood doesn't lead here, though. Yeah, I know, but I, I just want to... We have to follow the blood. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to look around. Cool. You see your, pair, your pale reflection? Oh. The word annoying is written in red on the mirror. Who are they referring to? This doesn't look like blood. It's probably more pen, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I want to look at all these, though. Do we do we see a ghost? Is there a ghost here? Cool. Cool. The bowl is dirty. It's obvious that it hasn't been cleaned for quite a while. <coughs> Place is so dirty, it obviously hasn't been used in a long time. Konoe. I know. Here's the thing. I know. Oh, oh hey, I'm glad I'm glad we've looked in the other stall. <laughs> um What's this? Find a pale pink handkerchief on the ground. It's an elegant, expensive looking item. The initials NH are embroidered on the edge. Isn't that, weren't those Hanako's uh initials? There's some ink on the cloth. Faint irritating odor is coming from it. it smells like acidic detergent. I'm guessing it's toilet cleaner? Did, you, did they try to erase the writing over there? We got our dirty handkerchief. Yoshi. There's a scribble on the wall. You suck at piano. Stop showing off. Don't play the school song. There's a name written on it, but it's so faint, it's unreadable. This is obviously slander, just like the stuff we found in the new building. I wonder who they're bullying. They're, they're bullying Hanako. Let's put it together, boys. Come on. Speaking of piano, Zumi is a pianist. Does this have anything to do with him? No. Oh, I mean, yes, but no. Hanako's pissed that he's he replaced her, right? Leads to this toilet stall. Are, are you there, Zumi? Listen. <laughs> There's no response. Okay. I was I was a little off the mark about about the you know, the headmaster being hanged in a stall. But he did almost get hanged. And now here we are. Potentially finding a corpse in a bathroom stall. I think he's already... It's not locked. Should I? Headmaster doesn't reply. Instead, he nods warily. Dazed look on his face. I'm gripping the handle. Slowly push the door open. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, actually. <laughs> the blood leads inside the stall. Yet there's no sign of Izumi. How can this be? This is absurd. Headmaster's plaintive query goes unanswered. I totally understand his feelings. However, no amount of whining will make the situation make sense. Let's examine this restroom. That's a lot of blood. Again, just peeking around to see if we're gonna see any any ghosts. So the bowl's dirty, it's obvious it hasn't been cleaned in a while. Find a fresh blood stain. It's probably Izumi's, since he was just attacked by hoses. 
if he's lost that amount of blood, I doubt he's still alive. You think he got flushed? He's hanging out with with a, a rat down in the sewers? With a huge jacked man? Excuse me? All of a sudden, a shrill scream pierces the night. <laughs> oh, hey, a sick flip is playing Minecraft. What, what was that? Came from the hallway. Okay, but before before we look at that... Ugh! Just let me investigate. Who's getting hosed? What was that sound? I hear something creaking from the hallway near the classrooms. Ah! Wah! Wah! Is what we hear. A female voice. A hollow moan so faint it could disappear at any moment. Yeah, she's uh, Dory, isn't it? She's getting choked out. <laughs> Hold on. Mode is coming from down the hallway. Okay. You just don't want to comment on any of this, huh? You're just you're just focused on that moan. Hey, Dory, you. We're in no rush. Is this the right way? They haven't yelled at me yet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It was that girl, Himiko Doryu. The sight before me was beyond comprehension. An otherworldly scene. A girl drenched in sewage water, suspended by a bunch of rubber hoses. Filthy water and rubber hoses, just like the assault on Izumi. Countless hoses sway in the air. They look like venomous snakes arching their necks into sickles, intimidating their prey. Yeah, give fucking sewage water? Okay. Ah! Pained groans emerge from her lips. I have to hurry and save her. How? <laughs> Extend my hand towards the hoses, trying to grab her. And then they knock my hand off. And at that moment, the hoses just disappear. She drops down onto the floor limply. Yeah, everything's covered in blood and sewage and dust and mold. <laughs> And I think we should all just leave. But it's not just the hoses that have vanished. The yellow water that drenched her body and stained her blouse is completely gone too. No traces remain as if the entire scene we just witnessed was nothing but an illusion. An illusion, Michael! Tricks are what whores do for money. <laughs> or candy. Hey, are you alright? Doryu doesn't respond. She's fainted. Understandable. <laughs> What on earth just happened? No time to question anything. Let's get her to the infirmary. I carry Doryu on my back and pick up her blazer from the floor. We hurry to the infirmary. Once there, we lay her down on the bed. No, she's unconscious. Her breathing is steady. She should be fine now. Let's continue our investigation. We haven't found Izumi yet. Mr. Konoi? Uh, uh, apologies. My mind is a bit fuzzy after all those bizarre happenings one after another. You can just wait here if it's too much for you. No, I cannot. I must protect the school or else I'm gonna bring shame upon my grandfather. He smiles weakly. It's obvious that he's forcing it. He's propped up his resolve with the sense of responsibility to his grandfather, the founder of the school. Fine, alright. Let's head to the old building. Okay, but before we do... Doryu's laying down on the bed, still unconscious. I know you're worried about her, but Izumi is our priority now. Let's head back to the old building, Cost. Okay, I figured I would at least attempt to talk to someone. I wasn't sure if it was gonna just... Just want us to talk to... Himiko, or if it was gonna allow us to talk to Konoe as well, but it's fine. Ah, oh, sniffles. Alrighty. Back to the old building we go. I, I, 
I, I need to run, but I can't listen to this man huffing and puffing over here. My god. Outside, across the corridor. And let's try and find Izumi's body. I thought I heard the hoses. <laughs> Say, cost. Should we check the female restroom again? We've pretty much looked through every corner, except for the one closet! We still haven't found Izumi. You saw the trail of blood, right? He must be in there. Headmaster yells hysterically. He's clearly tense and overwhelmed. He's nearly reached his limit, both mentally and physically. Okay, we'll give the restroom another look. It's not like we have any other leads anyway. Search for Izumi has been added to our spirit file. That just goes over everything that we've just done. I do like having those because <laughs> they're very helpful when you've like taken a break uh, from playing the game. Just like in general. Um, Sounds like running water. Where in the world is that coming from? Well, I don't know. I want to look in here. <laughs> This area is used to store tools for cleaning the toilets. I open the cupboard, but it's empty. Okay. Well. Uh, well, I guess let's go in the stalls again. Uh. Oh! My god! Oh! My god! Oh! Inside the stall, a male student is, set, is on the toilet seat. A bundle of things are sprouting from his eyes. Slender, rubber hoses. They're spewing filthy water in every direction. Guess that explains the sound of running water! What the fuck? <laughs> Between all the blood, the fallen eyeballs, and the hoses, I'd be unable to tell what this poor kid looked like while he was alive. <laughs> Though, there is one pretty obvious clue as to his identity. His left hand's missing. This must be Toshihiko Izumi. His wide open mouth gives an idea of just how much pain he'd endured. Probably had his eyes pushed out from the inside by the hoses while he was still alive. Looking at the pool of blood surrounding his body from his severed wrist, though. His suffering and terror probably didn't last too long. That's about the only bit of luck he'd had tonight. Bro! What's wrong, Cost? What in the world is in there? You don't want to know, sir. It will instantly do a murder on you. Oh. Well. <laughs> Bye. Headmaster screams and bolts out of the restroom. Guess that's, <laughs> guess that's finally what pushed him past the edge of sanity. To be fair, it'd be pretty fucked up to look into a bathroom stall and see this. So, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I honestly can't blame him. I'm too shocked to think straight myself. Better get out of this restroom first, return to the infirmary, and come up with a plan. I walk toward the exit, legs trembling. Uh-oh. Can't lift my legs. Something's tangled around my ankle. Uh-oh. Long, thin, elastic, blue something. It's the rubber hose. That damned rubber hose. Oh my god. Sorry. Um... I look into the mirror and see something swaying. What is that? A, a person? I think, I think it might be Hanako. 
It's a girl in a wet shirt and a red suspender skirt, her limbs blackened. She looks dead, swaying from side to side. This is Hanako of the toilet. Poses crawl up around my waist, to my chest, all the way around my neck. Ah, oh, fuck. Hanako, please! I can't move my limbs. Even my mouth is bound. I'll be killed at this rate. It's a lot of hoses! Shit, as if I'd let just let that happen. My arm's the only thing I can move I can somewhat move at this moment. Ah oh, fuck. Okay. Um what do? I only have the knuckle dusters is the problem. Graffiti so cruel. Oh! Oh! Kill the one who wrote it. The words spewing out of her mouth are filled with rage. Looks like she thinks I was the one who wrote that thing on the mirror. We have to use the handkerchief, right? To, to scrub it off. Do not pull out the pen or she will absolutely murder our ass. <laughs> the hostess are constricting me tighter. If I don't do something, I'll die here. There must be something in my bag that I can use to survive. Clues for the correct action. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we, we understand. So far, these ones actually make sense. Uh. I want to. I don't want to inspect the handkerchief. I want to. I want to wipe off the graffiti, right? Because we already know that it has, like, a... Probably, like, toilet cleaner on it, right? Pull the dirty handkerchief from my bag and extend my hand toward the mirror. I... Granted, this is... This is still the first chapter. But already these are making way more sense than... Than the ones in NG did. I, that was, like, my, my biggest complaint about NG. Was the fact that, like... I just don't think that the, the translation was... As good... Um, as it was in the first one, and so, like, a lot of- and, like, the- there were a lot of, like, leaps in logic that they- they wanted you to do, um, that didn't make sense, whereas some of the leaps of logic in the first one, given all the information that they gave about, like, you know, the background of- of the ghosts and the items that you've picked up, you could kind of- it made more sense. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, it was, NG was real rough, which is a shame, because, like, I really liked, I really liked the, the ghost designs in that one, um, but it, it was, it was hard. I do remember, like, in the first one, there was a single, there was, like, that one puzzle, um, I think it was regarding... Uh, it was something, it was either about, like, eyeballs, <laughs> like, eyes, <laughs> or the color pink. It was something strange, where, like, the translation, like, the kanji for, yeah, the eye one. Okay, it was eyes. Um, where, like, the kanji for eye was in most of the, most of the, the, the solutions except for one of them and you had to choose the one that didn't have it or maybe it was vice versa i don't specifically remember um they did their best <laughs> with the translation <laughs> um but it was that one was a little rough um yeah like you said that one is kind of like an untranslatable puzzle because it's we don't english doesn't have uh doesn't have something anywhere similar to kanji um, or even hiragana or any of that. So, like, <laughs> I'll let that one slide. Oh, aside from that one, they were all great. Um, but, like, every single one in, in NG was baffling and, and strange. <laughs> and I had a very difficult time with it. I do want to, like, play it again in my own time, I think. But, Jesus Christ. Um... But yeah, it was it was rough. So I'm glad to see that like that has been so far. Again, just a tentative opinion. Subject to change as we play. It's nice to know that they have like 
addressed some of that so far. Already I'm like much more impressed with the translation of this one than I was the other one, so. Yeah, I may be able to clear up the misunderstanding by wiping off the writing with the handkerchief. I stretch the handkerchief toward the mirror. Then I wipe off the word annoying. I don't think you're annoying, Hanako. <laughs> The hose binding my shoulders loosened slightly. Did that clear up the misunderstanding? I might have managed to convince her that I'm not a bad person by erasing those awful words. Looks like this is the right choice. I feel like I can move my arm a bit more now. <laughs> not bully? What did she mean by not bully? Was this girl bullied in her past? Of course she fucking was, dude. Who? I don't know. Who am I? Did she just say, who am I? Who, 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 who? Ah! The girl screams out loud. Ah, fuck. Oh, cinches tight around my body. Shit, what do I do now? Um, I mean, we have to tell her who she is. Girl seems pissed because she doesn't know who she is. Guess I need to tell her that next. I uh okay. I'm glad that there's no timer on this one like there is in the other ones. Uh initial thought. Use the red marker to write her name in the mirror. I'm worried that if she sees me with a red marker, she's gonna be like, ah oh, shit. Gotta do a murder. Um, I mean, the poster from the music room has her name on it, but I don't know if that's enough to, to like, let her know, but maybe it is. Uh, menu? I can't save, can I? Okay, that's fine. Um... I'm gonna do the poster. Read carefully? Oh, wait, I can look at what the actions are. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um. I do think that. <sighs> I'm scared that the read carefully option is not read out loud. Showing her the poster is going to potentially be confusing because it has her name, but also Izumi's name on it. I'm going to go red marker, write Hanako Akai on it. Because that's her name, right? This <laughs> I stretch my hand toward the mirror and try to write Hanako Akai with the red marker. Hey! I exert maximum effort and somehow manage to get the marker close to the mirror. I begin writing. <coughs> Sorry. Hanako. Hanako Akai. This is the name of the female pianist written on the poster. Doryu said she is Hanako of the Toilet. Oh, she was probably referring to the classic urban legend of Hanako of the Toilet and not this school's Hanako. The girl who was bullied might be Hanako Akai. Uh, Hanako Akai? Uh, My name? Woo! Hose binding me finally loosens. I assume she remembers her name now. Uh, you are different. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Girl then disappears into the darkness. Makes me wonder if Hanako of the toilet forgives me now that she's pulled herself together. Looks like this is the right choice. Sorry that took us a while to get through. I needed to just like 
<laughs> Verbalize literally all of my trains of thought. <laughs> what, what the heck? I survived. Survived. Once Hanako's presence is gone, the restroom changes completely. There's no trace of the hoses nor the blood, as if nothing foul ever happened here. Oh, it is gone. Wait. No way. Wait, does that mean Izumi is gone? Izumi's corpse is no longer in the stall. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would, like, mind me just sort of, like, blabbering on as I tried to, like, figure everything out. I appreciate, again, I appreciate the fact that, like, A, I can select an item and see what the options are, and then go back and then check the other items and see what the options are. Um, I didn't necessarily mind, uh, like, those sections being timed in the first one. Um, they, they typically gave you enough time to, like, read everything and, like, make your choice. And by that time, like, you were already, like, very familiar with, like, what you needed to do in those situations, generally. Um, I don't know. I kind of like how it's set up in this one, though. <laughs> Gives me some time to, like, figure shit out. Also, hold on a second. I am going to turn a light on. <laughs> and I'm going to close my curtain, because I didn't realize that was still open. <laughs> Um, I have, I have the light off in the office because I want to, want to get into the mood. I genuinely, like, even with how, how disappointed I was at, like, aspects of NG, um, I do really like this series. It's a really good <laughs> at building up tension and, like, making things scary, but, like, interesting, um, I'm so excited about this. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's here. And I'm glad that I had the money to be able to purchase it. You kind of liked it. Hey, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked how that, that section went. It's cool. This is the suspensive acts. Kind of neat. Yeah! <laughs> it's not to say that, like, I wasn't enjoying the other games as well, but, like, I don't know. It's It's just exciting to have something new that, like, that I have, have been, like, anticipating and being excited for, but not necessarily had kept up on. Um, like, I just didn't know what the release date was for it. Because, like, they're very bad at, or at least I'm very bad at keeping up to date on, on things like this. Especially when it comes to, you know, Japanese games getting uh, an English translation and stuff like that. Because who knows when those things are going to happen. Even if it's a popular series, it's one of those, like, well... Could happen immediately. Could happen in a couple of years. Um, so this is just this is just a very nice surprise to to stumble into. <laughs> uh, it's as if everything was only a nightmare. But yeah, I'm stoked. I'm excited, and I do want to finish Cult of the Lamb at some point. Um, I was like super ready to play that today uh, until I just saw that you know Deathmark Two had come out, and I was like, well. This takes precedence. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's true. That means we've lost any evidence of this incident. Hey, we should start carrying, like, a Polaroid camera around with us. I'd say just, like, a regular camera, but I'm scared that, like, a digital camera wouldn't work. Um, and while I do love me a film camera, it's a lot of work to get those processed. Um, and you don't necessarily know if they've come out Polaroid. Uh, you've, you've got the benefit of, of it technically being like film, but you get it instantly, like digital. <laughs> the only thing remaining is the fact that a student named Toshihiko Izumi has disappeared. But, but we gotta take a camera with us and start taking pictures of the shit so that we can be like, it was there. Cops will probably just treat him as one of thousands of missing people, exactly as they did with the student mentioned in the first notice. In this case, cops will be useless. In this case, sir, I think you would mean in in most cases, in like 95% of cases. What should I do? Well, we should probably go back to the infirmary. Yeah, I'd better go back to the infirmary first. And Master may have returned there. 
After talking with him, we can decide what we should do next. I'm glad that he was gone. Uh, oh fuck. Oh shit. That... That picture. <laughs> Pressing L will return return you quickly to the infirmary. Note that there will be times in the game when you can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I would like to return to the infirmary. That's lovely. I don't know that I'll like use that super often, because like I think I'll like want to explore and stuff, but I do like that it is that it is an option. Um, but yeah, I'm glad the headmaster wasn't there because like Bro would have died. <laughs> Dude would have gotten us killed. Uh, and I don't like that. I don't like getting killed. Hot take. Getting murdered? Kinda sucks. Uh, Headmaster is indeed in the infirmary. He's talking with Doryu. I should tell him what happened. Uh, let me save real fast. What's the final stage of chapter one, really? Are we really? Almost? I mean, I guess we've been here for like almost two hours. Your back, Cost. Sorry about earlier. I was so shocked I ran away before I knew what was happening. Right. Ah, yes. Doryu's woken up. Told her about you and how you saved your life. Come on, Doryu. Thank the gentleman. Thank you, Mr. Cost. Feeling better now? Yeah, more or less. Um, how about Azumi? <laughs> oh, about that. Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like the headmaster hasn't broken the news to her. He's probably concerned about her mental state. Something I want to ask her, though. We can't hide it forever. Alright. Yeah, he got hosed. Um, let me tell you all the things I've gone through tonight. <laughs> Don't do that. And that's it. It must be hard to swallow, I know, but you're gonna have to believe me. It, it can't be... Is the has been murdered? Doryu sinks into silence after that. It's incredible that you've survived encounters like this against vicious spirits before, Cost. I hope you forgive me, but I found you to be quite dubious before- To be fair, most of the spirits that we had faced before while aggressive, um, weren't necessarily in their right mind. <laughs> and they had all been treated so horribly. <laughs> so, like, you know, it's fine. We got to help them, and that was cool. But I guess I made the right choice by asking for your help. You saved us. Damn right I did. He looks at me, a faint, tired smile settling on his lips. Izumi's been killed, just as the notice said. Doryu murmurs quietly. If you get too curious about the departed's true identity, you'll be targeted and killed by them. That rumor seems to be true after all. Oh, I'll have to scoot my desk over just a little bit. Your voice trembles slightly. Is she shocked by the death of her friend, or is she scared of the departed? Seeing her tremble, I... Try to reassure her? There is indeed something in this school. But don't worry, the headmaster and I are both here. I know. Thank you for everything. Oh, do I only get the one option? Excuse me. Who? <gasps> a young girl enters the room all of a sudden. Her hair is dyed white, which begs the question. Does the school have really lax guidelines on appearance? Mitsuketa. There you are, Hime. I've been looking for you. Did you find Izumi? Oh yeah, she did mention there was another person here looking for Izumi, right? What's wrong, Hime? Who are you? Michio uh, Kinukawa, the student council's vice pres, and Hime's friend. Both of you should go home. It's really late already. We'll do something about Izumi. Understood. Let's go uh, home, Michio. Okay. I guess that's it for tonight. Headmaster and Doryu probably don't want to tell Michio about what happened to Izumi. 
me drive you home. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be able to look your parents in the eyes if something were to happen to you. Sir? There's no need for that. We both live in the dorm. It's only a minute away from here. Oh no, we broke the curfew though. The dorm manager's gonna scold us real bad. I'll let them know then. Be careful on your way home. We'll be going then. Bye! I do hope that they get home safe. <laughs> Doryu bid bids us farewell and leaves with Michio. You must be tired too, Cost. Go home. I'll call you again later to talk about the case. Mr. Konoe. I want some time alone now. Please. Go home. I don't trust this man. There is something about him that just... I don't know. There, it's it's not. I don't necessarily think that he's like he's the one who killed Himiko or Hanako or anything like that. But I don't know. He just gives me bad vibes. <laughs> Guess I'll head back. My car is parked in the lot near the main gate. The moment I exit the special building, the door locks behind me. I walk toward the shoe lockers, figuring I can leave that way. And this this just adds to that whole, uh, you know, concern. Like, why does he want to stay here? Hmm? What are you trying to cover up? What'd your grandfather do? That's my question. Oh, hey, what's this? Just then, I spot a piece of paper on the floor. It wasn't here earlier. A short sentence in red letters is written on it. Dear visitor, I'll be waiting for you in the corridor. Yours truly, The Departed. Th this is... My visitor. Do they mean me? Are they... They said they'd be waiting in the connecting corridor. I may be able to get closer to learning the departed's true identity if I go. Except that's no different than running into the jaws of death. Well? Let's go. I can still turn my back on my fears and run away. All I have to do is go outside through the exit by the shoe lockers. So the question is, should I face my fear? Or should I avoid it? I mean... In that case... I mean, we're gonna go out to the corridor! It, it didn't say that it was like, I don't know. The Departed has been very clear in the in the couple of letters that we've seen about their intentions. Uh, usually, like, Hanako's gonna fucking murder you, right? <laughs> so, there was no mention of death in this one. I think we're gonna be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> It's just a bell guy. Where's this bell sound coming from? Ugh, my head. Have I made a terrible mistake? Oh, fuck! Strange figure is standing in the darkness. Lank lanky, slender body with an unnaturally big head. No way. That's the departed. I mean, I know Himiko told us that get be, being curious about the departed's uh, identity was gonna get us murdered, but also, also it's 3D rendered, which is weird. I think I'm pretty sure. Is this their laughter I hear right now? They've set their sights on me. Are they laughing? Oh fuck. I can feel the warmth of my body slowly leaving just from the, uh, them staring at me. If this keeps up, I'm in serious danger. Bell did 2.5 toilet flushes worth of damage. Dang! Powerful Bell! Gotta escape right here, right now. But I... I can't. I'm petrified. My legs won't even tremble. I mean, if we die, we just have to do the, the infirmary scene again, right? Uh, and I think this was kind of worth it. That was real cool. The departed vanishes suddenly. Did I make it? No. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? No. They're behind me. On this wonderful day. 
let us exchange vows with one another. Um, hey, we've just met. Uh, a faint crackling voice echoes in my mind. <laughs> Maybe give it, like, a couple of dates or something? I don't know. I swear to always stay by your side. Forever. And ever. What are you saying? Say, my dear. Can I bite you? Chapter One The Departed. End. What the fuck? I'm gonna save here because I'm very curious what would happen if you just left. I might look at that off stream. Give people a reason to buy this. <laughs> but also, hell yeah! The next day at Cujo Mansion. Cujo? Cujo? It's the funny mansion from the first game. Phone's ringing. Gotta answer it. We can do a little bit of this one, and then... I don't know, I kind of just like feel like streaming until I'm too tired to. <laughs> Hello? It's me, Konoe. Thanks for last night. Did you sleep well, sir? Don't... Can you phrase it in a different way, please? Well, I don't you slept peacefully, given the things we experienced last night. Still find it hard to believe. So why did you call me? All right, let's cut to the chase. You have a new, you have a new pamphlet, new flyer, note, notice. I need your help. A new notice from the departed has arrived. That was quick. I'll tell you the details in person. Not now though. I've got an errand I must uh, attend to. I'll be back on the school grounds at 5 p.m. Can you turn around that time? Sure. He then hangs up the phone. There's still some time left before I'm supposed to meet the headmaster. I retrace what happened last night while drinking some coffee to wake me up. Honestly, a part of me still can't believe it. I need to organize my thoughts. Do we still hang out with the, uh... Oh, there was that girl, right, from the first one who was, like, super into the occult? She was, like, uh... Was she just, like, an occult fanatic? Or was she a writer for that magazine? I think she was just a fanatic. But she was cool. Does she still hang out here? What should I think about first? Let's think about the... Let's add some sugar. Take one sugar cube from the pot. I'm gonna drop it into my mug and stir it into the coffee with a little spoon. <laughs> uh, Let's talk about the departed. Last night I was attacked by the departed. I think... I think the departed loves you, Vincenzo. <laughs> Their eerie whispers felt like a bug was burrowing straight, burrowing straight into my brain. Horrible. And their words are still ringing in my ears now. This is what they said. On this wonderful day, let us exchange vows with one another. I swear to always stay by your side, forever and ever. <laughs> Sounds like a wedding vow. Given their letter to me, I have a feeling the departed may be obsessed with me. You've got a new fan. To make things worse. Say, my dear. Can I bite you? Uh, the answer is no. I appreciate you asking first. Uh, but that's gonna be a no for me. I lost consciousness after that. When I came to, I was lying face down in the corridor. I looked around, and the departed was nowhere to be found. I don't understand what they're thinking, but one thing's for sure. They're using spirits to harm the students. What should I think about next? I think you should drink your coffee. My eyes settle on the coffee that I brewed up. I ground the imported beans myself and made some fun adjustments to it. You can say it's one of the finest things I've ever made. Nerd. 
Coffee's the best companion you can have when you're contemplating something. I wrap my fingers around the mug's handle and take a sip of the black liquid. FK. In the coffee. <laughs> Clear as a crisp spring morning. Still too bitter. What does it mean? <laughs> Still too bitter? <coughs> Excuse me. Take one sugar cube from the pot, then I drop it into my mug and stir it with the, the, the little spoon. Says it's too bitter. Hanako of the toilet, who I met last night, must be one such spirit. It's the bride. From the first one. Grudge of someone who died a violent death will not be calmed even after their death. That powerful grudge will turn them into an inhuman supernatural being. A spirit. Spirits resent and kill living beings. I saw it with my own eyes last night. The only way to eradicate them is by erasing their grudges. To do that, we first need to investigate the spirit and discover their grudge. What I have to do now is investigate the spirits and terminate them. I mean, that's such a harsh way of putting it. Four months ago, I was confronted by spirits in a strange incident. Is that all it's been? Barely managed to survive. It was all thanks to the mark bearers who helped me with the investigation. What should I think about next? You should drink some coffee. Is it fine now? Still too bitter, bro. Add some more sugar. That's three things of sugar. It's three sugar cubes. Mark bearers are people I can trust. Are we gonna see them? Four months ago, several people had death marks carved onto their bodies. Something that was the work of a spirit in H City. Three whole sugar! Girl on the left is the occultist. I remember her. And I remember the little boy was just like super smart, right? He was a precious little guy. Loved him. And then we had the weird. He was like an ex detective? He was a cop or something? He got scary at points and I liked him. And then and then there's the hooligan. Uh, who just wanted to who just wanted to beat everything with a bat, I think. The lady was a news reporter, right? And I don't remember much about her <laughs> aside from that. And then we had the 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 fanboy over here on the right who really liked that one singer lady. You miss our bro friend, the one who looks like he never slept. Yeah, like the the detective guy. I say detective. He was some sort of like investigator just been here just cooking <laughs> listen gotta get that food it's important i liked the i liked a lot of these characters i want the i want the the three on the left to come hang out with us again wasn't there a, there was also a, a doctor who's not listed here i don't think he was a mark bearer i think he just hung out around us i think I don't remember if he had a mark or not. I just remember him being very sleepy and bubby coated, and that made me happy. <laughs> uh, I was among those 13 people. Oh, okay. Maybe he was. Are we gonna see the other ones? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so he did. He did have one. There he is. There's our boy. The sunken cheeks. <laughs> I remember the little girl was like scary, scary smart and just like I think she could see the ghosts or like she's like a spiritualist or something like that despite being young and then we had the the pop star who was fine I think the lady was, was an actual spiritualist, she was like a fortune teller or something like that and I think this lady was also a doctor or a nurse, some sort of scientist. And then, and then Bubby coded Dr. Man, who, whom we love. Uh, and I just remember that I think it was Travis, someone, but I'm going to blame Travis, uh, had us do the old homeless man 
we gave him a, a cowboy voice. I am just guessing, because she has glasses, that she is some sort of scientist lady. I do vaguely remember her, like, knowing technology. <laughs> I think. Um... <laughs> You remember Cowboy Homeless Man? I think that's like, that was the defining moment of this, this series as a whole when we streamed it originally, was was uh, the Cowboy Man being, uh, or the, the Homeless Man being uh, a cowboy. Yeah, the, the lady, lady with glasses was kind of annoying. I don't like, I, I, which is probably why I just don't remember much about her. The fact that I can, like, recall all these characters is great, though, at least to an extent. Um, that's just very exciting. I want Doctor to come hang out with us. Uh, we still keep in touch with each other. Even, uh, we even team up to solve mystery cases from time to time. Are we gonna, are we gonna see these characters again? Because I would like to see these characters again, and I would like to hang out with my friends again, please and thank you. <laughs> um... That's the Tim! That's why I remembered him! Damon is the doctor! I didn't realize he worked at the school. Bubby Coated Boy. That's why I remembered the name! Ah! Okay. Person who introduced me to Mr. Konoe was a Mark Bear who works as a doctor at the school. It makes me wonder if he uh if we weren't really meant to escape our strange fates. <gasps> Am I going to be able to hang out with him? Because I would like that very much. <laughs> Pendulum clock in the entrance hall rings. It's almost time for my appointment with the headmaster. Better get ready to go out. I would like, I would like very much to hang out with Dr. Damon. Put all the essential items into my favorite bag. My old notebook and flashlight. Along with all the things I found at the school yesterday. Sorry. Uh, the key item needed to erase a spirit's grudge usually lies in a haunted place. Attempting to prepare for every possibility is a fool's errand. This should be good enough. I remember this room. I remember our big silly van. I finish getting ready and head to the garage. Then I get into my favorite minivan. I wouldn't really call that a minivan. Like, that's a proper van, my guy. <laughs> I would know! I drove a minivan in high school! Konoehara Academy! School is built in a place called Konoehara, an area situated on top of a hill on the outskirts of H City. Built in the early Showa period, this school is considered a tangible cultural property of H City. Although it's been renovated several times, it still looks pretty much the same inside and out. Also, uh, sorry, this is, like, very not related to anything. I've seen it in chat a couple of times, but we do have a, a community challenge going on right now, um, to do a gummy hunt in Dragon's Dogma, if you would like to see that. Start throwing your channel points at that, maybe, possibly. Thank you, Fruity. <laughs> yeah! I gotta, gotta get ready for the, for the new one. Thank you, Emmy, as well, for the contribution for the gummy hunt. I mean, listen, I don't know that I'll stream stream the new one, but I am very excited about it. <laughs> uh, although it's been renovated several times, it still looks pretty much the same inside and out. Dragon's Dogma, kind of all right. Konoehara Academy is about 20 minutes from Kujao Ma Mansion. Mr. Konoe told me there were no vacant spots in the school's parking lot. <laughs> Do it! Play Dragon's Dogma. Do it. So my only option is to park my car in a parking area near the school and walk. The school's already letting out by the time I arrive. Students are heading for the exits. They're all looking pretty gloomy, though. Is it because of the departed case? Um, I need to go get more water, and I need to use the restroom. So, we're gonna go to the menu. Um, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get some water. And y'all should do the same. 
Maybe grab a snack? I might grab, I might grab a, a little snacky snack. And a stretch! I can do that. <laughs> I'm doing it right now, you can't see me? Oh, but there's a good stretch going. I'll do it as, as I stand up as well. Um, yeah, uh, quick break. Do a stretch. Uh, grab, grab a snack. Uh, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, this game is really good. I need to, like, like I said, I kind of just, like, want to stream until I'm, like, too tired to do so. I do need to be conscientious of the time because I do work tomorrow. But also, this game is very good. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. anything for bits. Car, we're almost there! Baby, you got this? Honey, you can, you can do it. You got it. You can make it happen. Oh, 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 not that fast! No, no. No, Annie, no! <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to push me like this. I didn't mean to. Dragon. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <sighs> Not the sense of priests. Okay. This is the way we want to go, though. This was definitely boss music. 100% was boss music. He had a name in everything. time man said shit my nuts <laughs> it's fine also was there were there were there two 
back to back clips of me being like there might be a I did hear the like there might be a surprise Waluigi. Um but did the following clip have me in the in the Waluigi outfit? It's good timing. <laughs> also thanks. I Okay, cool. Great. Perfect. Clip after that. I was Waluigi. Perfect. Sometimes sometimes the clips uh plan things out real well. Other times it's just bad, but hey. Mm -mm. They're on random. I have a I have them play on uh randomly. <laughs> um Okay. I do have I have a little snacky snack. I got some cashews and some dried cherries because this is this is my 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 evening snacky snack um i will do what i can to not chew into the microphone but apologies if it happens i also have more water now i have to put my little i have to put my desk gloves back on <laughs> Listen, cashews are great. I love cashews. <laughs> it's like the cookie monster, but with cashews. I love cashews here. I like, I'd love to just like, I, I really like pistachios. I really like cashews as well, but like, I think, I think pistachios are, are like top tier for me. I can't say they're my favorite because I just like, I like... I like a lot of different types of, of nuts and seeds. But pistachios are so expensive. Not that cashews are any any better, but they're a little better. Price-wise. Um, but I finally have a, a Costco membership again. I got one back in like December. Um and so I can like buy cashews and cherries in bulk and it's great. I have. I have seen the, the fruit the cashews come from. They are weird as hell. You have to prep them in a specific way so that you don't fucking die when you eat cashews. Um, I also love that for me. I, I, I love Costco. It's so good. Um, anyway. I walked in, down the same route as yesterday. Once again, arrived at the special building. I checked the clock hanging in the entrance. There's still some time left before the appointment. I head to the infirmary. Damon, the guy who introduced me to Mr. Conaway, might be in there. My, my beloved. Damon, my beloved. My darling. My love. Mm. Once I arrive, though, Damon's not there. Not just that. Can't even find the school nurse. This is tragic. A memory serves. Damon once told me that it wasn't mandatory for a school to have appointed a nurse. I realize that this isn't really my domain, but in light of recent events, I'm starting to think that policy may be a huge mistake. Conway, your beloved. You're here for the, the, the headmaster? Mm. Suspicious. It's almost time. Let's go to the faculty room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, Emmy. Oh? Um. Can I talk to anyone? There's no one in the infirmary. Again, didn't think so, but figured I would at least attempt. Alright. Uh, this is a special building's entrance. Where are we going? You don't care for the Huffy Man. I don't care for Job. Um, student council room. Sorry, I've just been making Arrested Development uh, <laughs> references this whole stream. There's no one here. Let's go somewhere else. Faculty room? I mean, that's where we found him the first time, right? Mr. Konoway immediately spots me when I enter the faculty room. He claps his hands together and approaches me. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Ah, you've come, Cost. Does that mean you're continuing with the investigation? Yeah. You're such a lifesaver. Thank you. Should we talk about the case now? Where would you like to start? Uh, hey, about Izumi. 
Haven't heard anyone making any rumblings about Azumi yet. Missing persons report will probably be issued shortly, though I doubt they'll treat it as a criminal case. Especially given that his corpse disappeared after he died. Aside from us, the only one else who knows is Doryu from the student council. I think at your house was the only time you've watched Arrested Development. <laughs> it's just sort of on his background noise. It's a very silly show. Um, he's way too chill about this. Honestly! Man keeps trying to keep his cool about everything, but it's like... I know you're a coward. I know what you are. <laughs> Almost all of them. Very nearly. Kinokawa as well, apparently. Dor, you told her. Who's Kinokawa? Oh, it's the white-haired girl. Okay. If I remember correctly, Kinokawa is the white-haired girl. She said she's a good friend of Doryu's. Please be discreet about this. Consider that an order from your client. You don't own me! You can't tell me what to do! Tell me about the new notice. The new notice was found on top of the piano in the music room this morning. Take a look. That hand, though, my god! Matches the notice I saw last night. Must truly be the departed's notice. Dear model, Hanako will kill you tonight. I'm watching, hiding in the school. Your beloved, the departed. Is that Kinokawa? Is the model Kinokawa? Previous victim was the pianist. In other words, Izumi, the piano. P piano? Piano player! <laughs> Listen. Piano and pianist are very silly words. This time the target's been dubbed model. Who could it be? Do you have an idea who this model is? I'm afraid not. Apologies, I'm still new here. I tried asking the teachers as well, but to no avail. So I'll leave the investigation to you. Uh, school's investigation. From today onward, I'd like you to start a full-fledged investigation to our school. So you do believe in ghosts now. Bustin' makes you feel good? Sorry. <laughs> I want to put an end to this case. Try speaking to the teachers and students. I'm an outsider, though. Is that really okay? I know that. That's why I asked my friend at the Board of Education to <laughs> issue this for me. Have you not? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, I have to send a thing to Emmy. It's very important that I send a thing to Emmy right now. Um, hey, Bustin makes me feel good. To Neil Cicerica? Is that how you say his name? I don't know how you say his name. I'm sorry. It's the guy who makes the funny songs. Like the very emotional version of uh, the YMCA. <laughs> Emmy, I've sent you a thing. <laughs> you say Cicerega? I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know. Is that guy. Um, that's why I asked my friend at the Board of Education to issue this for me. He then holds out a piece of paper. Certificate of Employment. Special Contract Teacher. Hey! <laughs> my name is written on the bottom part of the paper. Is this some kind of joke? I've taken the liberty of making you a teacher at our school. You'll be able to freely roam the campus this way. I don't feel like this is very legal or correct. In my opinion, this is the most expeditious way to end this case. Is that agreeable to you, Mr. Cost? Don't call me that. <laughs> I don't have a teaching license. You've been de deputized it to the faculty. I don't wanna. <coughs> I don't wanna. 
Not a problem. Contract teachers don't need a license. Nuts. His sudden development has put me at a loss for words. I expected that things would get bizarre, but to become a teacher... I guess that's all I can say about the case. I tried telling my friend on the police force about it, but they didn't believe me. In fact, he just became worried that I'd hit my head somewhere. You're the only one I can rely on to put an end to this. Yeah, that tracks. Anyway, why don't you get started now? Feel free to explore other places besides the old building. But that's where all the shit went down, guy. I have to... I have to go there. I don't think there are many students remaining, though. It's almost time for the last call to leave school grounds, and we've advised them to not stay behind. Yeah, well, fat lot of good that did us yesterday. <laughs> In light of recent incidents. He must be referring to the first notice. A mysterious notice appeared. A student went missing. Even the cops got involved. School needs to look like it's doing something in response to the situation. Oh right, almost forgot. Please feel free to make use of the infirmary as much as you need. The school nurse has been out with a cold. Damon has been managing in her absence. Can I go see him? You two are good friends, so I imagine there shouldn't be any problems. I want to go see him. Before starting my investigation, I should return to the infirmary to see if Damon's returned. Please let him be there. Let me go see my best friend. I gotta go see my best friend. Oh, you're back. Cheerful voice greets me when I come in. Huh? Oh, it's the pop star! Or was she a model? Or was she both? Hello, Mr. Cost. Mr. Damon is running an errand, but he'll be here later. Wait a second. Why are you here, I? To help you out, of course. I heard about the departure from Mr. Damon. Can you tell me more about the case? Oh, sorry, that was Vincenzo. <laughs> uh, sure. Why is she here? This is Ai Kashi Kashiwaga, one of the mark bearers who hunted down spirits with me in the past. She's a member of the idol group Love and Hero, who are mainly active in each city. What happened to your idol duties? Just so you know, I'm not slacking off, okay? Today's my day off. Last week was rough, though. We were busy recording our new song. Right? Where's my boy? <laughs> and if you're curious about it, I'd say it's sultry. Or, and if you're curious about it, I'd say it's sultry. Maybe? Wait! I don't think Vin- <laughs> I don't think Vincenzo is the one who's supposed to be saying this. Guess it's kind of cheerful and passionate? One thing for sure, it's a banger. In all of Love and Heroes songs, they passionately sing about love and justice. The songs are simple, but they have powerful messages. They seem to be well-liked by some youngsters. I, as a passionate young girl who unreservedly lives the lyrics of their songs. Okay. <laughs> love He is a local idol group in each city. That's why some of our fans go to this school. Not a lot, though. Not a lot. I guess you're not that famous, then. We're still pretty much an up-and-coming act, but someday we'll be touring the nation. You just wait. Anyway, one of our fans told me about the departed rumors. It got me kind of worried since they seemed to be genuinely scared about it. After that, Mr. Damon told me about your investigation. Ah, so that's why she decided to come here like my personal guardian angel. Okay, wait, so she doesn't go to school here. So it's not gonna be her. That's how I've always, always been. Act first, deal with the consequences later. I revert back to my original thought that it's it's the white-haired girl whose name I cannot remember. I'm so sorry. It's dangerous, though. Uh... There are victims in this case already. I know that. Besides, you know all the risks, and you're still investigating, aren't you? I can't just let my friend do it alone. Friend, huh? Genuine compliment for me from an active idol. What an endearing moment. A little bit too dazzling for me, though. I'm not taking one step out of here no matter what you say to me. Why Why are you in a uniform? You're not a student here, right? Where did you get that uniform? I borrowed it from a friend. She graduated from Kono, Kono, Kono Ehara Academy. While investigating the case, no one will get suspicious if I'm wearing a uniform. A uniform? No one's gonna know who you are! They're gonna be suspicious! 
Besides, isn't this uniform adorable? I wanted to wear it. Look, doesn't it suit me? Meh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? I guess so. You look exactly like a student. You don't stand out at all. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to hear. After listening to her story, I give her a detailed recap of the situation. She's experienced the terror of facing spirits. She knows the risks. And yet, she still wants to go after them. There's no stopping her. I understand the situation. So what's, uh, what's up for our next investigation? Let's see. Our subjects are The Departed and Hanako of the Toilet. For now, let's focus on Hanako. Now that our new notice has appeared, our main priority is to prevent any more casualties. Yep, let's protect the living. First things first, we need to investigate rumors regarding Hanako. If we get a lot of information, we may, may find a way to placate Hanako's grudge. Spirits disappear once their grudge is resolved. I'm really curious about this model Hanako is targeting. I wonder who it is. We need to find that out. Looks like the spirits in this school don't attack indiscriminately. Ooh, sorry, I have hiccups. <sighs> there must be a reason for that. True, we may be able to uncover the spirit's motive if we discover what the reason is. Let's ask around and see what information we can gather about Hanako and the model. Ugh. I'm really sad that it's not Damon. Well, let's do a little save. Let's... Let's go ask some questions. <laughs> Student council room. Anyone there now? Such as our pals from yesterday. Familiar looking girls in the student council room. Hey! Oh, you're Mr. Cost, right? You're not from the school. What are you still doing here? I'm continuing the investigation of Hanako of the Toilet. And it's even more important now considering the events of last night. I want to ask you some questions. My apologies. I don't want to remember what happened last night. That's not surprising. She went through such a horrific experience and lost one of her friends. Still, there's too much at stake to just drop the subject like that. She looks tense. She seems to be wary of me. What should I do? Um... I mean, have I try. Maybe she'll relax if I get I to do the talking. I's around her age, after all. Nor you, I'm begging you. Please help Mr. Cross with the investigation. I should refuse, but... By the way, why are you with him? Do you have permission from your teacher? Huh? Um... Nor you stares suspiciously at I. Looks like I made a mistake. I'm a teacher now. Uh, bring up the spirit's threat. I try telling her how dangerous Hanako is and how important it is to, that I get her help. Eey. Please stop. I can't take horror stories. Dory is frightened. Looks like that was the wrong move. Okay, maybe just telling her that I'm a teacher was the right option. But tell her I've become a teacher in order to continue the investigation. Oh, so you're not an outsider anymore? Sorry, Mr. Cost. I'll help you out however I can. I guess that kind of makes sense, because she's a student council nerd. She's all about the rules, because she's a nerd. Looks like Doryu is finally willing to talk. So, what do you want to ask me? Uh, well, let's just chat. Something I want to confirm. Why were you in the old building last night? I know the whole headmaster told me to go home, but I was so worried about Azumi, I couldn't help it. I tried looking around the new building's second floor. But then I heard a boy scream from the old building. That must have been Izumi yelping when Hanako cut off his hand. So I went to the old building. Once I got there, the hallway was covered with blood. And then the, the ho hoses. I screamed, and then I passed out. I guess that explains how she wound up suspended in the air when the headmaster and I found her. Sorry for making you relive that memory. 
It's alright. Uh, can we discuss Hanako of the Toilet? Looks like I gave you bad information about Hanako of the Toilet. I'm really sorry about that. Last night, uh, Doryu informed me that Hanako was the spirit of a little girl in a red skirt. But it seems that the spirit we're dealing with is a different Hanako. So about this Hanako girl. There used to be a student named Hanako Akai in the Brass Band Club. Yes, I actually looked into it a bit on my own because I was curious. People have been saying Hanako of the Toilet is that Hanako from second year. Because, um, she committed suicide. Do you have any other information about Hanako of the Toilet? No, sorry. Horror stories are really scary to me, so this is all I know. Try asking Michio. She's into this stuff. That's the- that's the girl! The white-haired girl. You mean the girl who came to the infirmary last night? Yes, Michio Kinu uh, Kinukawa, the student council vice president. I think she's in the music room now. She went there earlier. You should ask her about Akai, too. Alright, thanks. Delightful. Oh, can I- can you tell me more about Hanako Akai? Akai was a quiet girl. She might have been depressed over something. It's meaningless now, but something I noticed earlier. I might have done something to help her out. I mean, you can't really, you know, dwell on that too much. <laughs> Leave the student council room after hearing what Dory you had to say. Like, it doesn't sound like they were close or anything. And uh, Is there anybody in the library? There's no one here. Let's go somewhere else. Alright. Down to the new building, I guess. What's in here? I very much warmed up to this. This new... Uh... This new, like, exploration view that we've got. Ooh, who's that? Ma'am, you have no eyes. I think that kid's class is here. I told you to wait in front of the classroom once club activities are over. Jeez, I just want to go home as soon as possible. I don't want to stay here with all the incidents these days. Reminds you of the cat lady? Same! I was thinking that earlier. The the movements are a little less jarring, but... <laughs> but yeah, very much so. Who is this? Who the heck are you? You a teacher or something? It's the delinquent girl. Don't talk to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you good? It's cool that, like, we get to see, like, other characters just kind of exist in, in the space. I mean, even though it's, like, they're not moving or anything. Um, but it's, it's just neat. <laughs> Was this? I mean, yeah, she definitely had a valid response, but also, it's fine. If I remember correctly, the first notice was posted on this bulletin board, but it disappeared by the time the police started investigating. Someone must have taken the notice. Male student is mumbling. Mumble, grumble, mumble, grumble. I does have more health than me, and that's uh, a little annoying. You want to go in here? I. Or at least in the female restroom. I right, can you inspect this area? Sure, why not? Do I get to play as just her? Oh, okay. I've checked the place. It doesn't seem to be anything unusual. I know we're heading to the music room, but I do just want to, like, poke around. This leads to the male restroom. I'll go inspect the place. Wait here. Okay. And then we never come out. We pull a Heather Mason and crawl out the window? Oh, never mind. Didn't find anything in particular. Can I go to the second floor? <gasps> yeah, we gotta gotta find Damon. Lock. The door won't open. Okay, there's a, there's a connecting corridor here. I can go to the third floor. I should be here. I literally rushed over here. Where are they going? Are they in the restroom? 
I don't think they're in the restroom. Not with all the Hanako rumors. Whenever I think about Hanako, I get goosebumps all over. I really hate spirits. I want to go home now. Why is that closed? The windows are covered by curtains. Is that to block out the sun? It seems a bit weird, though. That said, the curtains aren't giving off eerie vibes or anything. Yet. It's not something to be concerned about. I'm sure we'll come back here later, but again, I'm just excited that I'm allowed to go all over the place now. Hey, you good? I'm trying to call, uh, call her, only to get ignored. Okay. <laughs> There's not really anything up here. I'm doing this for nothing except for my own, like, satisfaction <laughs> of being like, I looked everywhere. Chair sit atop the nicely lined up desks. This classroom is this classroom not used? I don't see anything here. Ooh, where's this go? Find a door leading to the emergency exit. Shouldn't use that door unless there's actually an emergency. Okay. Um kinda wanna I wanna look upstairs. But also, second floor's corridor should be just ahead. There's a crumpled paper in the gap between the doors! Warning! Second floor corridor is off limits. Oh, okay. I was like, ah, I found something! It was worth it! Who's this guy? Oh my god! I have to finish patrolling the vicinity before school is over! Ever since all the commotion about the departed started, I feel a chill after school. I feel like someone's watching me. Well, being on the disciplinary committee isn't easy. Yeah, okay, nerd. Here, we're gonna start on this end of the hallway. And then work our way back. Chair sit atop the desks. Let's go to the hall. I'm being rude to Brawny Man. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Listen, the disciplinary committee is basically just training people to be cops. You know how I feel about cops. Windows are covered by curtains. There's a chance. There's a chance that he'll he'll, you know, not be an asshole, but. Kinda got a cop vibe. Suspicious, man. Everyone in this school is mentally unstable. They're all terrified of the departed. Still, the sunny spot in this classroom, the one near the window, is special. Because you can indulge yourself and lounge around reading until school is over. You don't need to worry about me anymore. What? <laughs> Sir? Okay, there's not really anything here then. What's in here? It's locked. The door won't open. And there's no third floor corridor. Okay, cool. Uh, down to the music room. Again, I know that, like, we didn't really, like, get anything from that. Um. But it's cool. It's cool that we have, like, full access to everything. And it's neat, again, just to see that, like, there are other characters existing in the world. It made sense that we didn't, like, really run into anyone else that, like, wasn't plot important in, in the other one. But it's cool. It's just, it's, it's nice little, nice little touch. <laughs> White-haired student is standing there. She's the girl I saw at the infirmary yesterday. If I remember correctly, she's Michio Kinukawa. Oh, you're the old man from yesterday. Are you here to investigate the departed? 
Or Hanako of the toilet? Door, you told me you're pretty into those sorts of things. Ma'am, yeah. Headmaster asked you to pursue the departed's case, didn't he? That makes you my rival. Rival? You see, I follow all the rumors spreading around the school. I did some investigating on my own about the departed and Hanako. You can say I'm a walking encyclopedia on these topics now. Like, scary rumors, or the suicide three months ago. I want to hear more about that. Mind helping you out with my investigation? Didn't I just tell you that you're my rival? Please, I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Um, oh well, whatever. Because you saved Hime's life last night, I'll make an exception this time, alright? But I won't give you anything next time. Gathering info is no easy task, you know. So, what do you want to ask? I assume Doryu's already told you how terrifying Hanako of the toilet is. So why are you still investigating this case? You want to avenge Izumi or something? Not at all. I hated that guy, you know. I feel bad that he's dead, though. But I only look for him because he may ask me to. Makes me wonder why you'd take such a risk, then. It's none of your business. Leave me alone. Uh, tell me about Hanako of the Toilet. Hanako of the Toilet is a spirit that appears in the girls' restroom in the old building. Except for Hime, everyone basically knows the rumors surrounding Hanako. Give me the deets. There's a rumor going around Konoehara Academy. Hanako of the Toilet. Toilet no Hanako. There's been a lot of stuff scribbled on the wall in the restroom lately. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know? It's a ritual to summon spirits. People have been saying a spirit will appear if you write on the wall in the restroom. Some students have tried that for fun. They don't believe in spirits or anything. They just did it for the thrills. That includes her too. She wanted to scribble some stuff on the empty restroom uh, in the old building. <laughs> she wrote some things on the wall using a marker. Except she didn't believe in ghosts. She did all that while thinking, there's no way a spirit exists. And then we lost two hit points. But then... She heard the sound of the toilet being flushed in the empty stall next to her. Well, how did she know it was empty? There shouldn't be anyone else here. How could that be? She had a bad feeling and she decided to run. But she was more curious about that stall. <laughs> Toilet's always getting ya. So she opened the door and looked inside. There, she found a girl in a red skirt hanging from the ceiling with a hose around her neck. Oh. Give it <laughs> She screamed and ran away. But you know what happened after that? Even after she left school and got home, that voice was still ringing in her ears. <laughs> and in the end, the next day, the departed's notice arrived and she disappeared. Everyone's she saying she died and her corpse was never found. And that we sh and that she was killed by Hanako. That's the rumor about Hanako of the Toilet. Pretty scary, isn't it? I see. I repeat the rumor in my head. Give it back, huh? What in the world is Hanako searching for? It may be tied to her grudge. Uh, tell me about Hanako Akai. Three months ago, Akai committed suicide in the girls' restroom in the old building. She hanged herself with a rubber hose. You think someone is taking advantage of the ghost and blaming the disappearances on them? 
<laughs> I mean, if that's the case, it's a hundred percent the headmaster. What if someone was doing something bad? And that's why the departed is a thing. I mean, maybe I guess it like it depends on if like all, the focus of the game is gonna be here at this school, right? Um. Or if, like, or if this is the only place that The Departed shows up. Because if that's the case, then yeah, 100% someone did something here. And I'm looking at, at the headmaster's grandfather. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's too early to say, but I like this. Give me all your theories, all your thoughts. Uh, the female restroom in the old building. Suicide with a rubber hose. That lines up with Hanako of the Toilet. I guess Hanako Akai really is that spirit. Akai used to be a member of the Brass Band Club. Maybe the club's members know something. Yeah, no, I'm here for it. <laughs> Where are they? I don't see them here. I heard they've been rehearsing late into the night since they've got a concert coming up soon. I think club activities are done for the day. But some of them might still be hanging around. Why don't you try looking for them? I mean, I've wandered around everywhere. Can I go in here? Oh, is this unlocked? <gasps> there are various large percussion instruments here, such as the timpani, xylophone, and ba bass drum. When you see these instruments, don't you just want to hit them with all your might? Not, not really. <laughs> On the shelf are music textbooks and sheet music. Are these specialized books? Can't tell what they are just by looking at the titles. Yes. Some instrument cases are placed on the shelf. When I take a few steps closer, I smell something moldy. Like, like what? Cuckoo. I can't look any closer. Cuckoo. We'll keep, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Last door cabinet. Inside are a bunch of music books. Next to the books is a key box. It must be used to hold keys for instrument cases. Okay. Okay. We, we've got... We've got things to keep in mind. Um... Do you have anything to say? Someone took the notice without anyone noticing. There could only be one person who was able to do such a thing. It must have been the departed in human form. Male student is mumbling. She wants us to look for members of the Bass... Bass... Brass Band Club. But like... I mean, granted, we've been everywhere, but didn't know that that's what we were supposed to be doing. Get goosebumps thinking about Hanako... Is there anyone in here? Do you have anything to say? No, she just continues to ignore us. <laughs> Understood. <coughs> Sorry. Got a dink. Gotta stay hydrated. Hey, she didn't really. Hold on. I want to know more about Hanako Akai. Wasn't she in the brass band club? You should try asking her fellow club members. Okay. <laughs> She's just. I. I was gonna. I was hoping that she would give us a little more specific information, but we'll just do what we're doing. I'm dinking, I'm dinking! Dinking so much! Hey, do you know where brass band club people are? Yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling like somebody's watching ya. I didn't check the bathrooms on the second floor or the third floor, but... Should head home soon, rest assured. There was anyone else in here, was there? Oh! Oh! New people? Oh 
mind showing up for club activity after so long, but the vibes have been so bad lately. You know, right? Don't we've got any chance of winning this year's competition. All because of that incident. The incident! You mean the thing with Akai? Are you brass band club members? Huh? Oh, yeah. I was only there until the summer, though. I already quit. I'm a new teacher. The headmaster asked me to look into the Hanako Akai. Can you tell me more about her? Are they still investigating that case? Man, enough already. Have you already been questioned? Well, yeah, last summer. She killed herself because of the bullying, didn't she? Is that so? There's no reason to deny it. I heard rumors of her getting bullied all the time. Various bits of graffiti I saw in the restroom last night were all insults aimed at her. My guess was right. She was being bullied. Poor girl. Do you have anything else to say? I don't really know about the details. It happened after us third years had to quit club activities. Okay. Uh, Hi. I want to know more about Hanako. Okay. We, we just have to find other band members. Club members, I should say. Maybe they're on the first floor. I did kind of just like skip over that to come back upstairs. Um, actually, leads to the men's restroom. Nothing interesting. I can you do that here? We'll probably finish talking to the band members and then call it there because it is starting to get a touch late and I should consider chilling out for the evening I've been not sleeping great because of my asthma so I gotta get what rest I can when I can but I was very excited about this game Man, I'm freaking exhausted. Is it just me or was Brass Band Club the last one to finish practice today? Well, we've got no choice. The concert's almost here. Are you from the Brass Band Club? I'm a new teacher. The headmaster asked me to look into Hanako Okai. Right? I'm like, I'm so happy with how this has gone so far. Um, it's been very fun, very interesting, and I'm stoked to I'm stoked to see what else they're gonna do. How it's gonna progress. Uh, can you tell me more about her? Why are you asking us about Akai now? <gasps> I'm glad y'all have been enjoying it too. <laughs> I think we launched an investigation into her suicide. No harm in letting them fill in the blanks incorrectly. It's not like telling them the truth would help and help them anyway. Akai was quiet, but she was gentle and kind, and she loved playing piano. Whenever we sing the school song, she always, uh, we always have a student representative play the piano. That used to be her job. She was overjoyed when she got the news. Until Toshihiko Izumi replaced her, right? It was written on the poster I found last night. Right, I think it happened just before she died. I assumed he replaced her because she died. What? Does that mean she killed herself over that? No way. That's a pretty solid job of gathering information so far. Managed to get some very useful info from Doryu, Kinokawa, and the Brass Band Club members. Where should we go next? Say, Mr. Cost? This may sound random, but how about we check the, out the shoe lockers on the first floor? Why? Because school's over. Bet there's quite a few students who are about to head home now. So there should be some people ga er, there. That makes sense. Let's go to the shoe lockers. Sure. She just wants that good, good shoe dust. That's what's happening here. Hopefully I'll have my... the capture card and... camera thing figured out for next time. I don't know why it's being ridiculous, but it is. This is the main entrance of the new building. The school gate is right ahead. Shoe lockers for the students are placed near the entrance. Over there. Shoe dust? 
Oh, no, it's just a couple of students. Two students are chatting quietly. That Hanako. Mr. Cost? Did you hear? He said Hanako. They may be talking about Akai. Should we go ask them? Hold on a second, I. Let's lay low for a bit. We may stop talking if they notice us. You make a good point. Should we eavesdrop them? They're too occupied by their conversation to notice us. We may be able to eavesdrop on their or er, on their chat if we do this right. Can you try secretly listening to the students' conversation? Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> Did, didn't expect uh, this to happen. I need to get closer to the students if I want to listen to their conversation. How do I listen in without making them wary of me? Uh, by sending I over? Character and execution rate. Yeah. I mean, it's just telling us that it could be different for our allies if we choose them instead of us. Uh, we'll just have her approach naturally. Got it. I'll try to casually approach those girls. Success! Oh god, we're getting so close. Great! I managed to casually approach them. It's time for the students to leave school. Maybe they'll be more amicable. Looks like this is the right choice. Ray is keeping an ear open to overhear the girls' conversation. Uh, how can we get her to move? I, well, I don't really have... Oh, I do have options. Okay. Uh, I mean, pretend to wait for a friend. Right? Because <laughs> looking around the shoe lockers is just going to make her, like, look really suspicious. Um, Because she's just going to be, like, poking around, and then these other girls are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so she's just kind of standing there, like, looking, like, in, in one place, kind of, like, looking around the corners or whatever to be like, hey, like, someone coming here? That, I feel like that would be more natural than, like, actively foraging around the shoe lockers <laughs> like a maniac. I'm always late again, huh? Guess I have to wait here for a while. Girls don't be seri uh, seem to be wary of, of eyes act. Yeah. Maybe now we can listen to their conversation without worrying. Yeah! See, I like it when I can, like, logic my way through these as opposed to being, like, making weird, wild guesses. Students finish chatting and leave the area. What's your report, I? Mission success? I totally eavesdropped on them. I immediately reports what she heard. Students were talking about Hanako Akai's best friend. That friend being Naomi Horikoshi. Horikoshi seems to be crazy popular. Both her grades and athleticism are top notch. She used to be bright and cheerful. So she is a bright and cheerful now? Yeah, what? <laughs> Uh-huh. She's not doing so well after Akai's suicide. Well, that's fair. I wouldn't necessarily say that means she's not bright, though. Stu two, uh, two students talking now were worried about her. I tried to talk to her, but she got mad. I think they were talking about that. Can't blame her. Her best friend died. Did you get anything else? Mm, let's see. Oriko, she's working as a magazine model. She's hiding it from the school. Ooh, uh, there's our there's our model. Model? Could it be? Mr. Cost? I looks confused. I guess she'd completely forgotten. I was referring to this. Yeah, how could she forget that? I Take out the departed's notice for my bag. Hanako will kill you tonight, model. Oh my god, you're right. That means Hanako's target is... The possibility is high. We have to find Naomi Horikoshi. Agreed. Her class is 2B. Let's uh, go there right away. Okay. But before we do, let's return to the infirmary. I think we're going to call it there. Um, we'll see. 
when we can stream next. I want to do it soon. Um, but, you know, we're at the end of the week and things get a little wild crazy towards the end of the week. Because we've got Friend Friday stuff to do. Um, and... Uh... And then weekends are usually Silent Hill related. But we'll also see how I'm feeling just because, like... Things have been things have been wild over the last couple of weeks. Like I like I said earlier today, like I would have streamed on on Monday, and I really wanted to, uh, but I'm just like I've just been so tired. And then I had many appointments this week, some impromptu, others planned. Um, yeah, and and last week was just like an absolute shit show for me. <laughs> I needed some time just off. <laughs> Um, but I have missed streaming and I have wanted to stream. I've just not had the energy or the, or the, the time or the attention span or any of that recently. Um, but this has me like super motivated and I want to, I want to find some time to, to do more of this. So we will eventually for now though, let me see who we have online. I did the thing, it's true! I've done it! Um... Hey. I don't really have anyone on. Um... But... Super Great Friend is playing some Frog Detective. Which seems like a nice way to kind of mellow out after some, some Death Mark. Not that there was a lot going on with Death Mark. Um... SGF is in deep spoilers territory in Frog Detective. I mean, we can we cannot go. Do we want to go? Do we want to go into deep deep spoiler territory for Frog Detective, or do we just want to call it here? I'm fine either way. That is up to y'all. Uh, while you're deciding, I'm doing a stretch. <laughs> Alright, well in that case we'll just call it here because I'm also just gonna like I think I'm just gonna go lay down. <laughs> um, so if you want to go hang out with Super Great Friend um, they're doing some some frog detective. He's great and delightful. We love Super Great Friend here. Um, but for now we are just gonna we are just gonna end. No raid today. Um, thank you everyone for being here and hanging out. We appreciate y'all. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Until next time, goodbye, friends.